Oh, right, all right. What's up, people? Let's get right into this fight, man. We're gonna go ahead and get right into our fight card. See what they got popping over here on Showtime. And then I'll zip over there to uh, ESPN to check out Zepeda versus Vargas. See what Jose Vargas gonna go in here and do. You no, know, Jose Vargas was real animated at that weigh-in, so now he got to back that shit up with some live action. He got to back all that shit up with action against Zepeda. And Jose, Jose is a young, hungry guy. I remember when he's a TMT fighter, I think, at one point, seeing him going through his, his progressions through there and seeing him rise to this position and him feeling confident. Them young fighters doing this shit, that Shakur type shit, to these older fighters, man. These older fighters have to realize, man, the time is kind of moving out the way. They're they're becoming prehistoric in this game of young of a young field. And these young fighters are willing to get out here and challenge these guys to get them the hell up out the way. They looking to move these guys the hell up out the way. Let me see who is this? Jamal James. Let me put my subjects in here. Jamal James versus Butiev. And how everybody doing out there, man? We're going to go ahead and get into our cards. Should have had my card up earlier. And we got... And I didn't know what I'm... Uh, goddamn... Uh, uh, what's his name? It's from Long Beach, man. A Long Beach cat. That's why I lived in Long Beach for a cool minute. And in Zepeda. So we got Zepeda versus Vargas. So let me get that put up here. And also get the my banners up here so we're just waiting up here to get these guys up here in the ring get them to swing it on each other see the, see see how this shit shakes shapes up and i know we got what's his name uh the looking like we got the dang uh muhammad ali looking like fighting on this card as well see what he's gonna come out here and do see what sugar ray looking like is gonna do this kid the kid is a pretty pretty good fighter here Pretty good fighter, but I want to see what he does against this opponent who he's going to face, see what this opponent comes in here and do. Make sure the opponent don't go in here and lay a dud. Go in here and just fold up to the dude. All right, let me get this one pulled up. We got Jose, Jose Zapata with Jose Zapata versus Josue Vargas. Now, Jose, Josue don't get his other tooth chip. Because I think he fought in a fight where he got his tooth knocked out of some shit. So he's been doing a lot of, he was doing a lot of shit on that stage to warrant getting another tooth knocked out. Fucking around with Tepeda like that. Tepeda come off one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life with him and, uh, him and, damn, what was that other motherfucking big head motherfucker from Russia always going into these wars? I forget his name. But they went into that shit and had a hell of fire dust off. Let me see where we at today. All right, we're about to get our fighters brought to the ring. Let me get this. Damn, where are my dates pulled up? Boom, boom. Mike Rivera, there we go. So we're going to start off with Michael Rivera. Well, let me see. Jerron Ennis. Let me get my shit pulled up. We got Jamal James versus who he fighting? Rad. Rad Zap. Some Rab Zap motherfucker. Rabzab but 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 F. Rabzab buddy F. Damn, he have a fucked up day in America with that kind of name. Imagine him in a American elementary school with a name Buddy F. <laughs> Shit. I would have had a field day roasting that motherfucker. Man been fighting like a motherfucker. Let me see Jerron Ennis. Get my uh Getting my banners here built up, getting my types in here. I should be done before they start. I think this Delamas Delorme fight is gonna be a true test for um, for Jerron Ennis. Because Delorme don't come in here to lay down to nobody. That's one thing Delorme doesn't do. Delorme ain't no lay down fight. He's gonna come in here, he's gonna try to give it his all. And I think this is what Delorme, I mean not Delorme, but Jerron Ennis needs in his career to really see where he is, to really have someone go in here and test him to really have him go out here and display what he does in these type of tests. What is he able to do? And especially being that <clears throat> Delorme has the experience, he has been in there with some good names, been in there against Terrence Crawford. So he's seasoned. 
regardless, win, lose, or draw, Delorme is still season. And Delorme is ambitious. It don't matter what how many fights you lost. One thing like with MMA, that shit don't give a fuck about how many times you have lost. You're not counted the fuck out. You're not counted the fuck out at any moment. These dudes rise to an occasion and shit at any goddamn moment. So we're going to see if Delorme comes out here and see if he can put a put a a, a halt or a delay into what Jerron Ennis has going on here. All right, let me split my screens here. And give me one second. Break these two in half. There we go. And we ready. That shit crazy how this fool Mikhail looked like motherfucking Muhammad Ali. That dude kid look just like Muhammad Ali as Muhammad Ali got some explaining to do to his family. All right, let me go ahead and get my scorecard. We got Mikel Rivera. Don't know where the hell he's from, but he's from somewhere. They talk Spanish. All right. Versus Jose Romero. And this kid can fucking fight. This Muhammad Ali looking kid, Mikel uh, Rivera, this kid can fucking fight. This is a good fighting kid. Oh, that's the Mandalay Bay. Let's go three. Let's go four. And five. Let me see. Maybe six rounds for this one. Get my next fight here. Let's put this one over. We got Jerron Ennis. Thank God we ain't got too many fights on the card. And the other fucked up part is that uh, what's that motherfucking top rank in these guys stack their cards at the same damn time, but fuck top rank card except for the main fight. All right, let's see. Thomas DeLorme. I think this is going to be a very tough fight for Jerron. I, I want to see how Jerron makes the adjustment in this fight. The adjustment, not just the adjust, he may even got to adjust just how much he separates from uh, Thomas DeLorme in this fight. How much does he make Delorme struggle in this fight? So far. So eight. We go nine. Ten, eleven. Twelve. All right. To our other side, the Jamal James. Getting my car together. That's all I'm doing, folks. As they go through this announcement shit, I'll be ready to go. Just score. Just score away is all I'm going to do. And Rad said, hopefully they don't take a long time to get each fight going through. Fight get over with. Get the next motherfuckers up. Get them brought to this damn ring. I love this motherfucking boxing, if y'all don't know. And let me work on my cussing, because I just picked up that I am cussing a lot. Let's go five, let's go six, seven, eight, and nine, 12. All right, we all set, folks. Ready to kick some ass, let's go. Eric Gomes in the beer, salute. Andrew Charles in the building. User G123 in the building. He says it's tank roll, rolly council. I don't think so. I don't think it's council. Oh, yeah, Baranda chick, that's right. And Charles says, I like this uh Cabarello guy. Says about the fight. Sid UK in the building. Says, I think Jerron says will show his level. Says in this fight. Says he's a beast. Yes, indeed, he is. Here we go. Round number one. Here come Muhammad Ali looking motherfucker coming at him with the Ali shorts on too. Trey Trey in the building. What's up, Trey Trey? Cleus in the building. Salute my brother. He says, what's popping? What's popping, my brother? And he's coming at Rivera. Rivera's moving around. Oh, almost set him with the right hand. Rivera tried to duck down low and almost got hit with the low from the hip thrown left hook to catch him. Good abilities there to catch him. Salute to the OG Storm B man in the building. Aaron Parker in the building. This is what it do. Sacramento in the house. Yes, indeed, bro. And here he is coming at him. Good jab out here. And he got Ali on the front of his trunks. Ain't that some shit, man? Take advantage of that shit. Here he is flipping out the jab. And here go Romero moving around. But uh, 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 Rivera has to worry about with Romero backing up the way he is to not run into something. 
All right, here they go, pushing off from the break. Got 205 here in the first. Good jab down to the body. Romero taking a little bit off of it by hopping himself backwards. Here he is chasing after Romero is what Rivera is having to do. Oh, good right hand over the top. Good right hand behind that jab. Left hook thrown in there by Rivera. And let me get the two fighters that we have here on the screen. Let me see. No, that ain't them. Where the hell are they at? There we go. These are the fighters. You got a good right hand over the top there. And Rivera's, Romero's going to have to put up a fight. He's going to get fucked around, get knocked out, because this is a very aggressive guy here. Here comes the right hand. Boom. Romero tried to duck up under. Go Rivera on top of his neck. Referee's telling him, don't do that. Keep your head up, uh, Romero. Here he's coming at them, flicking out that jab. Oh, so these two have fought before. Two sparring partners, it looks like I'm hearing them say. Good jab in there. Good jab, Rivera. Rivera trying to fire the jab. Got caught. Good block of the jab and a counter right hand thrown there by Romero. That was good. Good sequence there from Romero. Good catch and throw. Here go Romero. Now Romero's starting to try to time Rivera. And also with this movement, hopping back, stepping back, and he's going to try to time when Rivera steps in to range to fire off his shot. So Rivera has to watch about that. Now here go Romero starting to settle down. Here go Rivera shooting a jab down to the body, also leaning down, almost gets hit with a jab, but able to pull out of there. Good quick combination in there by Rivera, able to get a, get the head out the way, avoiding any counters. Good long jab in there by Rivera. Long, quick jab. Here come Rivera still working in, trying to fire off the jab. Romero still stepping around, moving around, settling down a little bit more, starting to settle. Here he is holding his ground here. Here come Rivera trying to fire off the jab, nothing there. Here he is trying to fire off a quick combination, nothing there. Uh, here go Romero firing back his shots. Here come Rivera trying to catch. Oh, did Rivera catch him or is he slipping? Okay, that was a slip. Thought he got rocked with a punch, but he was slipping as he was in that corner. Maybe some water over there. Jab thrown up there by Rivera. All right, that's going to be a Rivera round. That's a Rivera round. So Rivera has to watch out for this guy. Has to watch out for this dude. I think this one of these old sneaky-ass dudes right here. All right. So round one is for Rivera. Let's get ready for round number two. Not too much gone there, being that Romero having utilizing his movement, which took him out of the danger zone. Nothing of significance hitting him except a, a, a one or two of those right hands. All right. And don't know what happened between these two inside the gym. We and I think I did hear the dude say they was they sparred before. So maybe, maybe that's why Romero doing that. Maybe they know something about Rivera. Keep moving, allow him to throw him, punch himself out or something. Maybe that's the ideal behind it. Here we go, round number two. Okay. Here can Rivera come out there. Romero trying to fire off. Boom, big right hand again by Rivera. And Romero firing off little return shots, but missing. Oh, good left hook thrown in there by Rivera. I mean, by Romero as Rivera stepped on the inside trying to let off some work on him. Aaron Parker says he uh says he's uh the real Ali. Says not Nico. Right, right, Aaron Parker on the real. Jay Wayne in the building. What up, my brother? Boxing MMA in the building. Salute. Here go Romero trying to fire off some shots. They going inside that clinch. Jay Wayne says, uh, says that was a uh, KD in my opinion. And he says, yeah, Romero is a uh, Sandar. Here we go. He's coming at them. Come on, Romero. You're going to have to do something for this guy to knock you out. And here he is, still coming in here. And here go Romero, final shot. That was a good right hand in the clinch here by Romero. Another right hand in the clinch by Romero. Romero, best punch, came out the clinch. Oh, good jab in there by Rivera, following the uh, little quick break from the ref. He's coming at him. Let's get some more of these jabs in here. More jabs, Rivera. Mir says, uh, says they in the uh in a crowd chanting Ali. <laughs> I can't hear. I got the volume. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Let me hear if I can hear him. That shit crazy. This kid looked that much like Ali, man. Good jab down to the body thrown there by Rivera. Vera thought about throwing that right hand. The opponent was way out of range. He held back up on it for fully releasing it. Taylor Bell in the building. Salute my brother. And look, here go fucking Romero. Find those moments on the inside. Try to let off quick combination. Nothing really there behind his punches. Here you go Rivera. Rivera can just working with the jab. Here is Rivera faking the jab. Swing swinging wide outside, catching this guy on the side of the head. Good jab. Oh, good exchange by uh, on the inside. But it looks like Rivera landed the 
left hook in there, nothing there by Romero. Romero just trying to throw off something. And he needs to go to the by a little bit. They go jab to the by. Oh, got counter with a right hand to the side ahead. Good counter in there by Romero after getting hit to the body. And Mary Rivera got to watch how he's throwing that jab to the body. Here he is coming at him, trying to work the jab. Just going to work patiently off the jab. He's trying to get that right hand in there. Romero ain't allowing nothing for that right hand to come in. So he's got to work on the jab. Oh, go, go right hook in there by Rivera. Not allowing anything coming in. Good jab to the body again here by Rivera. Very shooting the jab straight to the center. Boxing MMA says, uh, splitting the image of Ali says, that's nuts. Yeah, that shit crazy as hell. Got the flat top like Ali and all that shit. Okay, shot the jab, missing. Here come fucking Romero trying to go in and attack him. Miss all three punches. Oh, inside the clinch. You go right hand in there by Romero. He tried to throw the left a little bit short up on it. Romero's an inside fight. He wants to be close on the inside. There go jab. He's moving his head out the way here is Romero. Romero's just doing a little slight lean back with the head and keeping pulling himself out of range. Here he is trying to run in, rushing with attack. Missed both the right and the left hook. And that was kind of a, a non-eventful round, but that's going to go over to Rivera. Just working off the jab is Rivera. Just working him off the jab. Not able to get anything in there, being that uh, what's the name doing a pretty good job covering up to protect himself from these right hands here from uh, – from Rivera. But Rivera is working well off that jab, being very patient with it, following the opponent that's moving around on him, but being very patient. So let's see if he can start getting more busy. Let's see if Rivera could come Rivera can come off more busy. See if Romero can do something more than just try to fight out the clinch or inside range off of counters. Jane Rain says, uh, said he looks uh, more like Julian Jackson to me. He got that Julian Jackson. The Afro looked more Julian Jackson. I'll get that, but he looked just like uh, Ali. He got the the Afro can look more like uh, uh, Julian Jackson. There he is starting off. Jab. There go the right hand. Still not able to get it fully in there. And there go Rivera backing up, trying to shoot a jab to the body. There's nothing on there. Good jab down to the body again here by uh, Romero. By, I'm sorry, by Rivera. Rivera still falling after him. Good jab in there. Oh, there go the right hand. Got him with the right hand. And here go fucking Romero all oh, bouncing around, trying to loop, loop around, hop out the way of those damn right hands here. Here he's bringing those hands up at the right time. Here he is. Oh, fool. Romero coming in, rushing in for an attack. Good two punches there from Romero. And then Boxing May says, yeah, he won't, uh, says he won that round. Talking about Rivera for the last round. They were Rivera trying to throw the right hand. That's off Romero's gloves. And here go. He got Romero backing up. He got Romero backing up. Romero felt that right hand. Here go. Quick exchange on the inside. Good return in there by Romero. Romero's good with the exchange on the inside. That's about the only place he's competitive here, R Rivera. And Rivera got to be mindful of throwing his combinations. Why throwing his combinations to keep his keep himself in, in defensive ready? He must stay in the defensive ready and not get caught with something because this guy is throwing back as soon as uh, – Rivera gets it within a uh, uh, close range. Here is Romero still moving around. Romero still moving around, stepping back. Here he is holding his ground, gets hit with a right hand to the side of the body. Boom, tried to throw a right hand. Rivera nowhere in sight, pulled all the way back away from him. Here is come the jab, fired off the right hand, the right hand barely missing. Now Rivera needs to charge at him. This guy got his hands down. He has his hands down. He, he's almost trying to lure, playing like he's trying to lure Rivera in while Romero, Romero's holding his hands down acting as if he's going to try to lure uh, Rivera in with this bait he's trying to uh, hold out here for him with his hands all the way down, leaving his face exposed. Look at him, charging in, swinging wild. He's just trying to learn a prayer shot is what Rivera's trying to do. Rivera, I mean, not Rivera, but Romero. Look at Romero, shaking that right hand at him, saying, come on, come taste this right hand. You walk right in range. I got this right hand ready for you. And it's almost keeping Rivera at bay. Now Rivera's trying to be cautious now. He's starting to play into this little mental game that uh, Romero's playing with him. But he also has to watch it as Romero's stepping back. Romero can also catch him by – there go the jab. He goes short left hook in there by, uh, Rivera, by Rivera, Romero. Two R's in their names and shit. They go the jab in there. The jab's partially blocked in there by Romero. They go Rivera trying to step in the distance. Shoots out the jab. Was pulling out, pulling away from it as well. He's trying to inch his way in. Good jab in there by Rivera. Good jab. Let's see. Romero got to do something. Romero's letting these rounds go away. 
He's letting these jabs go away. Got 10 seconds here in the round. Oh, go right hand. That right hand slightly to the back of the head, but that's because Romero's leaning down and get him. Go after him. The jab. And that's the round. That's going to be another Rivera round. Romero ain't giving too much, too much of anything. Just moving around, moving around on him. Here's Jerron Ennis. Let's hear Jerron Ennis interview here. Boxing May says, yeah, he's looking uh, to land a counter right hand, says when he uh, jabs to the body. Yeah, it, it was money, too. Chef uh, Dre Boggs in the building salute. He says, what time Boots uh, fight? Uh, he's fighting next, so we're going into round number four. Going into, oh, I didn't switch the damn ticker on this shit. My bad. So we're about to get ready to go into round number four of a 10-round fight. So unless this guy can uh, score this knockout, Unless he can, unless he can score this knockout, shit, we'll be right up next with Boots. But I don't think the knockouts come. We may go a full fight. We may end up going a full fight on this one because this guy's do Romero's doing a good job surviving, moving around pretty well. And he says Romero is down three. Y'all got Romero down three as well. Here come the right hand. That one's slightly blocked. They go. Jab down to the body, coming back underneath, rolling with the left hook was Rivera, catching him there with that left hook. Logic in the building says, would have been cool if Ali uh still around, says watching this kid in the ring. That would have been cool as hell. Ali probably been smiling. They go jab, trying to throw the right hand again. Okay, here come Romero trying to step in there. Romero trying to step in there, throwing punches inside the clinch when the ref tells him in the break, he's just throwing off little wild punches. Most he can get to land on copy box. It's the most he can do to land on copy box, try to throw punches in the clinch. Here he's just bringing those right, those hands up high, try to block these jabs, and here he comes in swinging hard. Boom, through a right hand, knocking R Rivera off balance. Good jab in there by Rivera. Here go Romero. He just got to watch Romero when he's on the inside. Romero's just going to swing wild, letting wild punches go. There go right hand. That feel coming back behind it. Here go the jab, and here go Rivera. Romero with those hands back down. Let's close that distance, get on him. There he's trying to bring them high hands up. He's starting to fade out. If he can tap him to the body, oh my God, they go a jab, lift his head up, fall by right hand. And here go Romero trying to fire off something back. Here go Romero stepping back in, trying to fire off an attack and getting pushed off by Romero, by Rivera. What's up, Cuzzo? Deuce time in the building says giveaway, says about 100 kicks. Man, that's what's up, bro. Cuzzo out here doing good for the kids, giving away 100 shoes. No good jab in there by Rivera. Here he coming out, starting off with the left hook. Fall by right, that missed. They go jab, little flickering jab. Here he's trying to flick out the jab again. And here go Romero once again, leading those hands down, pointing towards the ground. Jab to the side of the face. Jab again to the chin, but not within range to give any impact on the punch. He's still trying to close that distance. Oh, he should have caught him while this guy's wiping his nose. Jab down to the body. Jab him to the body again. He'll come around with the left hook. Yep, he's getting tired. Let him let off on a Rivera. He's tired. He's tired. Less movement here from Romero. Now Romero's going to be forced to fight. Look, he's trying to stand his ground. Look, he hopping back like he Ali. This kid been really watching film and shit. Jab down to the body by Rivera. And Romero's swinging at nothing. Trying to catch the counter. Timing is off. Timing has slowed down. PJ's big dog in the building saying salute. Salute, my brother. Good jab between the guard and there by Rivera. Rivera with the short right hand. Here come Romero firing off his Rivera's on the inside. Letting off those quick, wild combos there. Three punches thrown from him. But he's fading. Oh, good jab between the guard. Good jab down to the body, fall by left, straight left. But he gets countered. Romero with the quick counter, but getting pieced up right now. He's tired, though. He's tired. Renzo, what's up, my brother? He says, appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro, for coming through. Here he's fading out. And here go Rivera. Needs to start stepping at him. Now Rivera's starting to inch in forward. Maybe Rivera's going to try to lock this Romero cat come forward and catch with something. They're going winging over the right hook, missing that. Boom, here he is with the one-two. Here comes Romero coming in, swinging it wild, and Rivera pushes him off. The ref's going to say something about the pushing from uh, Rivera. There go another round for Rivera. The what's the name? Just showing a little spirited effort from uh, Romero. Just, just a little spirited effort. I think I heard the team said, don't let him push you. Don't let him walk you back because Rivera start to walk back after Romero start to fade. Yeah, he is forcing the fight. I agree with that trainer. All right, here we go. A little bit of highlight. Good jab. The jab's breaking through because this guy's fading, fading out now. But he needs to attack his body if he can attack the body without getting countered with something. 
this dude throwing so wild this dude throwing such wild punches that haven't landed but they're wild who knows how hard they are so hopefully the kid avoids getting hit with any of that shit and we getting ready for round number five four rounds to zero so far let me go over here to top poop let me see what top poop got on the uh uh got going on let me see youtube tv let me get that in the phone here we go round five and here he is working off with the jab Let's see, Rivera's, let's see Rivera's energy level. Rivera's coming up, trying to counter with an uppercut. That was a bad punch selection, but he's fading out. He ain't got the energy to really throw anything. Just let this dude drown. Here he is trying to duck up under. Look, those legs ain't got no, he ain't got nothing up in them legs. Them legs are starting to go flat. He's planted now. Now Rivera needs to start styling on him. Now start leading around this motherfucker. Start tapping on his head. Play the Congos on his ass. Play the Congos on his ass. Boom, left hook thrown in there. Trying to and also slipped about the way of Romero trying to do whatever he's trying to do. Good jab down to the body. Good jab to the body. Keep working him. Keep working his ass. Boom. Nice one. Strike him out the way. Boom. Good combination. Quick combo. It says uh PJ's big dog says, get that Ali off your uh off his shorts ASAP. Nah, he looked like him. That's the only reason why I'm on there. Jay Wayne says uh, Romeo says a scrapping though. Romero's scrapping though. He's trying to scrap. He got to put something together though. Let's see. Punches 71 to 40 something. Let me see. Jay Wayne says uh, says he's scrapping. Boxing MMA says Rivera says he's controlling the fight behind the jab. Says Ali will be proud. PJ's Big Dog says last uh, says last week a fake grand, uh, grandson says now this guy. <laughs> Man, no, that dude looks just like Ali. Good left jab in there. Story B man says Ali Ali Ali. Jay Wayne says uh says two uh says top ranks has got a fight too. Yep, top rank fighting tonight too, bro. These motherfuckers love to do some shit when PBC got some art. Maybe PBC doing it to them. PSV Dog said that top rank card is uh is what ill? Oh, trash. <laughs> top rank shit is trash. The Bob Aram special. The Bob special. There he is just working off the jab on this guy. Okay, there go the first jab I seen from Romero throws a jab. Still not doing enough. Oh, he's wiping his nose. Get his ass. There go a jab in there. That was stupid as hell from Romero. Boom. There go another left in there. Here go Romero trying to fire off shots. He's tired. Look how he's throwing these punches. Here go Rivera walking back away from him, pushing him off, shooting the jab as he pushed off with the shoulder. Okay, good left hook down to the body ripped by Romero. Romero firing off the right hand. Romero will wing it over another right hook. You go Rivera standing right in front of him. Starts with the jab. Here he's inching his way in, jabbing. And this kid is tired. Go after him, Rivera. He's tired. Maybe the coach should tell Rivera to get him out of here. Pr- apply the pressure. Step on the gas in him in the sixth round. He's tired. Now he's starting to starting to run back now. Here is Romero. He's tired. All right. So he's at the, at the sixth floor. It's time to drop him off. His elevator stops here. He don't go past this damn six rounds. Step on that gas. This kid is tired. Hit him to the body. He going to find a way out of here. He ain't got the tank. He ain't got the tank. He been stepping on the gas knowing damn well he got to drive cross country. Oh, he complained about some leg shit now. He going to find, look, he trying to find a way out of here, folks. He's trying to find a way out of here. It's time for Rivera to step on the gas. I can sense it in his ass. He don't want it. One or two more I hear them talking about. So, yeah, he ready to check up out of here. He's saying, no mas. No mas el coche. El coche. <laughs> no mas. <laughs> I need to get out, el coach. This shit over with. He ready to quit, el coach. El coach, no more. Yo quiero es donde. <laughs> I'm El Dunn, coach. Good body shot thrown there by Rivera. It's time to step it up. Step on the gas, goddammit. Woo! Good right hand. Here they go. Oh, good combo. Hook standing there by fucking Romero. Romero, Rivera still got to be careful this motherfucker. You know he's tired. Let's target the body some. Go down to the body. Good right hook in there by Rivera. Stepping over to his left. Good jab in there. Make him wipe his nose. You should have broke it. This kid still wiping his nose in the fight. Rivera got to step in on that. 
Rivera got to step in at him, start working his jab. Boom, roundhouse right hook. Boom, there you go down to the body fall by the left jab. Now he's starting to pick this up. Good jab in there. And here go Romero just clapping his, glo his gloves. Jab again, clapping his gloves again. Jab him again. Come on, throw the hooks. He's tired. He ain't got nothing left. He's just mad. Good jab again in there by Rivera. Here go Romero trying to fire off some shit. Here go Rivera moving around on him. Romero just trying to sling, sling out shots. Oh, good double jab, tap with the right. Here go a jab in there by Rivera. Rivera trying to throw off, the, throw off a hook, couldn't get nothing in there. Okay, I see that bowl cut from anywhere from the moon all the way to the sun. They go fucking uh, Al Davis' son with that crazy ass bowl cut. Motherfucker, rich motherfucker go to the goddamn barber and get a bowl cut. Goddamn. <laughs> Fuck, it's crazy. There you go. Goodbye. Oh, that was low. He tried to go to the body, hit him in the nuts. Ref way out of position to even see that shit. Whoa, coming up on the hitting him to the chin. We got 113. This guy does not go need to go to seven. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, Rivera. Step on his gas. Rivera not step on gas. He's just being patient, playing with his food. Just playing with the food. Get him the fuck out of here. They go to Jack. Pushing him up off of here. Get him up out of here, Rivera. Get him out. Come on. Get him out. Oh, good dig to the body in there. Left hook coming up top. Hunch, Wing trying to step in with the left hook was Rivera, but got tapped with a jab in here from Romero as he swung wild and missed that. There go the jab. Rivera didn't put enough work in here to get him out of this round, but this guy's still tired. He's still tired. Rivera ain't put enough work. They go right hand in from Rivera. There, look, he tired. Throw the left hook, Rivera. Left hook his ass. Get him out of here. They go the jab. Swing the left hook. Lead off with the left hook. You got the left hook right there. Catch him. Step in. They go to the right hand. Come with the left. He trying to go to the body. They go to the body shot. Ten seconds. He's tired. Get him out of here. Rivera jab. Throw the fucking left. No. Jab. They go to the right hand. He tried to turn with the right hand. He's hurt. And he ain't put enough work in. This guy's ready to go. And they already asked him if he, can, if he got anything else. He's ready to get up out of there. And I think this may be it. I don't think he's going to go no more. I don't, he don't want no more. That's it, folks. Oh, no. He gonna, oh, he going to go? Yeah. Looks like look like they thinking about this shit. I don't think he's going to go, but Rivera ain't, put, uh, Rivera ain't putting enough on him. Rivera ain't putting enough on him to, to make him submit. He got to come at his ass in this round. This guy should not have been in this uh, seventh round. Jay Wayne says, somebody says in the crowd, says got a Don King hairdo. Man, that motherfucking, uh, what's his food? Uh, his name ain't Al Davis. What's Al Davis' son name? That motherfucker got that the dumbest fucking haircut I've ever seen in my damn life, man. Dumbest haircut, man. <laughs> A barber ought to kick him the fuck up out of their shop coming in with that shit. Say, listen, man, I ain't taking your money. Get your dumb looking ass up out my shop. Come in there asking for this shit. Here we go. Let's go. Surround seven. Let's step on the goddamn gas. Here come the jab. Here come Romero still stepping back. Let's see if he can catch a second win. I don't know about it. Rivera's being patient. Here he is jabbing to the body. Got to step in on him. Keep those hands up high. Keep those hands up high. Come in at him. Just walk him down now. Oh, he's down. Oh, he said he pushed him. He went down, though. He went down. Did Rivera just went down, folks? And the ref calling the slip. He went down, folks. I don't know. It was a push. They go left hook in there, right, Rivera. Rivera come with the jab. You shouldn't be in here with this motherfucker. Get him out of there. Fuzzy, catch your ass some shit. There go the left hook. There go a big left hook. Missing the right hook. Oh, here come fucking Romero firing off shots as Rivera misses those punches. Jab. They go the right hand in it by Rivera. Come on, Rivera, stop playing with the motherfucking get him out of there, all right? You looking too technical. Go in here and dog him. Dog him now. Now the nigga look like Tito Trinidad. Come on, step in there. Let, let these punches go, Rivera. God damn it. Good jab. Good jab again. Return jab in there by Romero. Let's go. Good jab. Here go left hook. Jab in there. This guy's tired. Put the pressure on him. He's ready to quit. 
He's ready to quit. Throw it to the body, goddammit. There you go. Tear up the body. Left and right hooks. He missed. Almost got hit with a right hand in the body. Return from uh, Romero. There goes jab in the body. Here come Romero coming at him. He ducking his head down. He needs to stop that ducking the head down shit. A fighter's going to tear his fucking neck off. Good jab in there. Here he's trying to go down to the body. Missing down to the body. Come on. Rip to this dude's body. This guy's done. This dude's done. He's just got heart. Woo, look at this dude throwing these big shots. Big shot miss. They go right hand down to the body by Rivera. He's dancing, styling on him, trying to do the Ali little shuffle. They go to right hand. Oh, look at Romero coming in there, trying to fire off his short hand combinations. Jab. They go jab right hand. Let's get another one in there. Stop hopping back from the good right hand in there by Romero. Romero going to try to fucking do an upset. Romero going to try to get an upset because Rivera up here fucking trying to be too fucking pretty and shit. I'm going to fuck around and get knocked out. But he's winning this fight. He's far away on the scorecards. I won't say dominate the guy, but he's far on the scorecards. Missed the right hand in there by Rivera. Here he's stepping on the inside. Romero trying to let off on him. Romero, look, Romero want to fight. There go Romero rocked him with a right hand. Romero rocked him with a right hand. There go Romero trying to throw another right hand. Rivera trying to be too goddamn stylish. Good punches landing there by Romero. He's trying to survive shit. Romero ain't going to quit then. Romero going to keep fighting. This dude should have been done. Romero, Romero, Romero should have been done in the sixth round, but this guy ain't putting enough pressure on him, being too nice with his shit. But he's dominant. He, I'm not dominating. He's fucking far ahead in this fight. Jay Wayne says that Rivero says want want the Ali Manta says he's got to do better, says especially against this level of competition. Absolutely, he's fighting down to the level. He's definitely fighting down to this guy's level. Playing in here, this guy should have been gone. But but he's still he's still young and learning. But he better he better not get his ass tired because this guy probably didn't, the other guy probably didn't gain a second wind on his ass. But let me see, man. Good jab in there by Romero. Romero trying to fight right hand. Oh, good jab to the body by Rivera. Vero coming up with the upshot. Oh, another body shot. Tim to the body. Missed the left hook. Missed off the lead left. There he is shooting the jab. Let's go. Here we go. Round number eight. Good jab in there. Stepping at him with the jab. Here you go. Romero, Romero still backing up. There is jab. Big right hand to the side head. Come on. Fire the motherfucking shot again, Rivera. God damn it. They go to jab. Motherfucker ain't got no goddamn legs. Get him, man. They go to jab. They go to jab. They go to jab. Thought about the right hand. That right hand was a little low. Got to bring that up. They go to jab again by Rivera. Rivera dipping over to his side, avoiding the shots. Oh, good right and left hook in there by Romero. And Romero said he going to fuck around and get caught with something, leaving this guy in this fight for too fucking long. He's trying to dig dig to the body with the little uppercut. 45 shot, nothing up on it. Little jab straight through the middle by Rivera. Rivera thought about throwing the right hand, held back up on it, pulled it back. I don't know what for. Uh, big right hand in there by Romero. Romero swinging off a hammer shot. If Romero gets lucky, Rivera deserves the fucking shit that could result from it. From sitting here playing, playing lollygag with this motherfucker. Good jab to the chin. Look, the guy blowing his nose. And here, Rivera, no attack. Throwing these low shots again, punch the guy in his thigh, but that was a left hook up to the chin. Let's see. Woo! Good right hand. Good jab. Come on, to the body. Throw the left to the body. Oh, good right. Good jab after pulling back the right hand. Get him. Oh, good right hook thrown over the top end there by fucking Romero. Come on, 54 seconds here in the eighth round. Let's get this guy the fuck up out of here, man. See, here he's walking in on him, walking in on him. Here he is off the top of the neck, 35 seconds. We're going to full fight in this one, so Jerron Ennis will be up next. Logic says, don't think Rivera says has ever been uh, stopped or knocked out before. Yeah, I mean, this guy almost had him stop based on fatigue, not from whooping his ass, though, but he was tired. But now 
this guy ain't gave enough to, to, to fatigue him more. He's gained a little bit. There go the body shots. Good three shots to the body. Try to throw that right hand over to the chin with a little bit tight up on it. Good combination. There. Oh, good left hook in there by uh, by Romero as Rivera try to exit up out of there. Good jab by both fighters. And that's going to be a Romero round. Rivera just ain't – I mean, not Romero. Rivera round. Romero ain't doing enough. It's going to be 10 rounds straight. Jay Wayne says a one, two, three, says, and it will be over. There you go. Showing a little highlight here from uh, what's this kid from Romero firing off shots. Good jab in there. Good jab in this replay here by uh, Rivera. Double jab. That was just barely on top of the head. He need to step through with his damn punches. Get this guy the fuck up out of here. Walk through him. Then the coach getting in on him, telling him you throw these shots better. So this guy gonna make it, man. Here we go for round number nine. Story B man says he's the greatest. Says he's the greatest. Says can you see it? <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> he's good, but he gotta fucking step it up, man. This guy should not be in here. Mir says this uh top rank fight is good. Oh, uh, who is it? Sultan. Let me see. Oh, it's Filipino. Filipino and uh, what's the other guy? DJ Big Dog says remove Ali from his shorts. Well, no, he didn't embarrass Ali. He just didn't knock this guy. I cracked with a right hand here from Romero. Romero coming at Rivera. Logic says agrees. Says flipping back and forth. Let's see what round they in. Number nine, two. Both of these fights in the same damn round. They line these fights up perfectly to compete with one another. These pieces of shit damn networks. Go soft jab. Oh, good jab again. Yeah, both of these guys tired, I see. Let's go. Just working off the jab. He's just going to work off the jab. They go Romero trying to fight that right hand. Romero trying to fight the right hand again. A little short right hand is Rivera trying to lean over. Here's the side of going with two jabs. They scoring, though. And look, Rivera may be tired. I think Rivera is tired. Sat in here and then fucking tired himself out. Think he tired. Jab looks looks less uh, snappy. There he is trying to throw a combination. It was inaccurate. He missed all punches in that combo. They're going to get jab. Still leaning over that head down. Here come Romero trying to come at him. Trying to fire the right hook over the top. Oh, good jab in there by Rivera. Oh, big right hand in there by Romero. Rivera's tired. Rivera's tired. Rivera's tired. This is what his dumb ass get, letting this kid stay in this fight. Go after him. Boom, right hand again in the by Romero. Here come Romero about to come in on him. And Romero can sense this kid may be tired. They go jab in the by Rivera. Go after him. Take your round, Romero. Go after him. They go jab in there by Rivera. Rivera firing that right hand. Romero ducking right up under it. Wow, nothing but wind made by that punch. Woo! They're going to jab for him by right hand and by Romero. Romero coming underneath to the body. Rivera finding a big right hand. Left hook thrown. There he is throwing some big shots. Oh, he got hit with a right hand and by Romero coming back at him. Left hook thrown. Leaving that hand down, that chin up. There he is. There goes Rivera trying to snap the jab. But he's being forced to fight right now. But he's tiring. He was tired there. PJ Big Dog says, uh, says he's uh, a C-level. Says he's fighting a C-level. Yeah, he got to step his game up, man. And he didn't let that guy in for a moment in that round. Good right hand to the body, followed by jab. There he is closing the round out, looking more fresh now. By the jab, he's forced to fight. I think I may give that round to fucking Romero. It was Sean Porter in the building. Salute to Sean Porter. I'm going to give that last round to fucking uh, uh, Romero. That motherfucker teeth is big as shit, man. I did not realize Sean Porter teeth was that fucking big. And his story being says this kid can, uh, can beat... Oh, said, hell no. Nah. Says, this kid can beat Haney. Fuck no. Haney would slap his ass the fuck up. And look, he got rock. <clears throat> Did he get rock or that punch just woke him up? Romero hit Rivera with that punch. Looked like it woke, uh, looked like it woke uh, Romero ass, I mean, Rivera ass up. 
Vero better stop playing with these guys that shouldn't be in the fucking ring with him. So this guy making it all the way to the final bell. Jay Wayne says Rivera seems satisfied, says with the decision. Yeah, absolutely. And this guy should have been stopped. Mira says, happy ass Sean waving. The hell fuck Sean teeth is on motherfucking the damn border wall. Motherfucker, that's what Trump should have built his wall. Fucking pulled Trump, uh, Sean shit out of his mouth. <laughs> Jay Wayne says, watch Sean Porter says waving like a little kid, man. Sean just a nice ass dude, man. <laughs> it's funny, man. Think of motherfucker like Sean is a fighter, man, to be so goddamn nice. But them nice motherfuckers be the one that be kicking ass, though. Think about it. Here's jabbing off the back foot. Here is Rivera. Still stepping off the back foot, jabbing. Thought about throwing the right hand. Held back up on. He pulled away from it. Pulled away from it. These big dogs said, Sean waving before Bud put him, in, put him to sleep. Man, y'all think that's going to happen? A good right hand fall by jabbing there by Rivera. Good left hand hook to the body thrown by Romero. Jabbing there by Rivera. <clears throat> They go to jab. Jab, just soft jab in here by Rivera. Rivera's just going to take this decision. Going to be satisfied with the decision. They're going to miss jab. But this kid got to also remember, if he's trying to make himself marketable, he should be stepping shit up. You don't want fans having to do this with when you should have got this guy out of here. Not taking too much risk to, to, to fucking um, – please fans all the time but it's no way that this guy should have been in here this rivera could have gave more in here he ain't gonna be happy and satisfied with this fight after reviewing even though he damn near took every round in it he just he just didn't give enough in this shit he's trying to throw the lead off with the right hand throw the jab missed that that was a jab there right hand to the top of head thrown by romero return jab in by rivera the jab missed the left hook they go to Jabby dancing on him, switched over with the left. Here he is, nice three-punch combination. Thrown in here by Rivera. Rivera styling on him. Oh, big right hand by Romero. Left to the body. Another big right hand in there by Romero. Romero, crack his ass. Another right hand by Romero. Get his ass. Man, drop his ass, Romero. Drop this motherfucker. He want to sit here and play this bullshit. Come on, Romero. Walk in at him and drop him. Okay, now fucking Romero then threw himself out. Now he tired. Good jab in there by Rivera. Fucking come at him, Romero. Drop this motherfucker. Teach him a lesson to not sit here and play with fucking fighters. King Asian Maps says Sean Porter says there uh, to scout. Oh, says oh to scout boots. Says for his uh, WBO title. Ah, oh, maybe that's what it is. That's probably why. Nah, why we focus on boots though? He got this Porter shit coming up. Maybe you are right though. Oh, good jab in by Rivera. Come on, Rivera. Get this motherfucker up out of here. 15 seconds left. There go the jab. There go right hand to side ahead. Another right hand there. That was a low blow by Romero. Romero just letting those hands go like, fuck it. <clears throat> fuck it. And that's going to be the round. <laughs> well, that's just so mismatch, man. Come on, Rivera. You got to do more than that bullshit, man. You got to get more than that bullshit. Still a young fighter. Did his shit, though. Did his shit, but he should have got this guy up out of here. Still a good fighter. I just wanted to see him stop the guy. But damn there it was that. Could be 10 rounds straight. I think I gave Romero just that ninth round. Gave him one round, but it still could be 10-0. Definitely t- could be 10-0. PJ Big Dog says that Mark Davis from the Raiders. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about the bowl cut. Said, damn, he always looking high as fuck. Man, he got to be high walking in there, billion dollars, talking about getting my bowl cut and shit. <laughs> no, barbers be shocked as fuck. Like, you want a what? <laughs> you want a what? What the fuck wrong with you, man? Call TMZ to the barber, man. This motherfucking Raider owner, high as shit. Know them owners be on coke. Remember that motherfucker from the Colts? Got caught with cocaine and shit. They ain't do nothing to his ass. Motherfucker straight dope fiend. Let's see what the judge is talking about. We got Reynolds coming up next. Salute my brother, box fan in the building. Salute, bro. Salute. Let's see. 94-93 in this top rank card. Who won that?
Oh, the Filipino guy won. Filipino guy Sultan won something. He happy as shit. Uh, he won a belt. Oh wow, they talk. I'm hearing. Wow, I'm hearing the ESPN people complain. They talking about the the Filipino dude dropped his opponent four times. He dropped his opponent four times. I just hear him say, and only won by one point. Wow, here they go getting on these judges' asses now. I hear uh, uh, hear the commentators. Thank you, commentators Andre Ward for talking about these judges. Even though I didn't watch this fight, I'm, I hear Andre Ward and them getting in these judges' asses that this Filipino guy drops his opponent four times in the fight and only won by one fucking point. That is wicked. That's some wicked shit. Wow. All three judges, all three judges with the same scorecards. That's some wicked fucking shit, folks. 9394 100 to 90. Yeah, it's a sweep. Wow, I'm fair. Andre Warden getting these judges and Tim Bradley getting these judges' asses saying they need to be all called in and investigated. They gave the guy who won the fight that dropped his opponent four times the fight by one point. This shit is atrocious as fucking boxing. Even though I didn't fully watch that fight, but listen to them say that, I'm a, I believe that you're knocking the opponent down four times and win by one point. Holy shit. But thank God they starting to speak the fuck up. And hopefully they, they, they just don't speak the way they're speaking, but speak and passionately get these judges the fuck up out of here. PJ Big Dog says, now we see uh now we see the top welterweight in boxing. My Philly bro, boots, undisputed in this. Let's see. Oh, this motherfucker talk English. Logic, logic says says Rivera says let oh Levera, let uh Rivera let Romero get second win, says he need to work the body. Yeah, he let him definitely almost get back in there. Logic says top ranked commentator has been on judges all night. Says even went oh, says even went against uh their fighter. It's even gets the top ranked fighter. Sid UK says that's uh nothing. Canelo Plant says Bell ain't even rang yet. And Canelo is up eight rounds, says on all three scorecards. They better not pull that shit in that fight. They better not pull that shit in that caliber fight. But they they a fuck around and do it, man. Being this damn, I, just to not even see the fight, being that that guy, they said knocks his opponent down four times and wins by one fucking point. I mean, I mean, they're going to be like, well, he won the fight, but shit, hell no. Nah. You should be up by at least three to four points. Jay Wayne says, uh, says, oh, kid, says, oh, the kid speaks English. Yeah, I didn't think he spoke that shit neither. Now, you got to give yourself a, a B minus on this performance. A B minus. You could have got that guy out of here, Rivera. Good, good, good fight, though. Good, good. Did some good boxing. Very good boxing. No, maybe give yourself a B. I won't say a B minus. You got to give yourself a B. Because the opponent should have been gone. That opponent wasn't on his skill level. He should have got him out of here. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, he said he ready. Said UK says how many fights before Boots? It's coming up now. They doing this interview, dragging this interview out. Boots about to start right now. All right, get your ass up out of here, motherfucker. Get your ass out the ring. Let's go. Let's get this next one going. Get Boots in the in this damn ring. This gonna be a tough fight for Boots. I don't think Boots just gonna. If Boots walk through motherfucking Thomas Delorme. And people don't try to fight him. Psh, quack, quack, quack. Shuggy duggy, quack, quack. Is what's going to be going on at 147. Shuggy duggy, quack, quack. Is what these motherfuckers going to be doing. Champions and all of them. 
Jay Wayne says, now Jim Gray trying to ask complex questions. <laughs> he know that he said he know that kid English is limited. Yeah, Jim Gray always been a piece of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> they bring James Tony in on his ass. Jim Tony cuss him out. Elijah says at this point, says Delorme says more a name at this point. Says he's one and five. His last uh one and five is the last fight. Says losing the last two. Say expect boots to uh get Delorme out under six. We're gonna see. We we're gonna see. We don't see. Asian Matt says says they're gonna uh, says they're gonna give yellow uh, Canelo. They're gonna give yellow. They're gonna give uh, says they're gonna give yellow Canelo ten eight rounds. Says for the ring walk. Man, they better not pull no bullshit, man. After hearing Andre Ward and them complain about this shit, I just hear them complain about these fucking judges, man. CUK says salute, salute. He says salute. My, says salute. Says I'm going to go see that uh, fight now. Says it's 3 a.m. here. For sure, for sure, bro. PJ Big Dog says uh, says boots stopping Delorme in five. Oh, y'all got him stopping him in that early. Mir says Vargas and Peter says fake way in scrap. Says was soft. <laughs> that motherfucker's a Peter. <laughs> the Peter fake way gonna hit that coach. <laughs> Big heavy ass coach. <laughs> They, but Vargas, Vargas trying to do with Shakur Stevenson. He was inspired by Shakur trying to get under his skin. But Zapata is such a relaxed and calm ass dude. I don't think it's hard to get under his skin. Even when you look like you kicking his ass, that motherfucker's still calm. I was getting mad at him watching when he fought Baranchek. Like, damn, dude, wake the fuck up. He's just relaxed, man. Motherfucker relaxed. So Vargas, Vargas better pace himself. Don't be a front runner. Vargas better not be a front runner and fade off. Jay Wayne says James Tony. Yeah, James Tony would have been a Jim Gray ass. Sylvester in the building saying, What's going on? What's up, bro? What's happening? Jay Wayne says James Tony says Burger King, Burger King. <laughs> Wait, did that motherfucker say that in the ring after the damn interview? <laughs> Burger King, Burger King. That shit sound familiar. Okay, so pay them fighting next. Okay. They ain't got to interfere with the main event, but they may interfere with, with Jerron in this fight. Box fan saying salute, family. PJ's big dog, the King Asian Master, salute, says all facts. Let me turn this camera off so I can eat my damn candy real quick. And you go showing the highlights of Canelo and, and, and Kayla Plant, who I hope Kayla Plant take these damn belts from Canelo. Please take this shit away from Kayla Plant. You got to come out here and do your do. Do your motherfucking do, Kayla. Do your goddamn do, Caleb. Get this motherfucker. It is time to go. Logic says, uh, oh wait, where did I skip? Let me see, let me see. Box fan says Boots about to hurt somebody. We're gonna see, man. Boots got style and, and, and craft and all that. But he going in here against the hungry ass fucking Delorme. Delorme one of these motherfuckers just because he lost don't mean he won't show up. Just he got them losses don't mean he won't show up. Fucking he fuck around and be able to fight Jerron in his style. He may be able to figure Jerron in his style or some shit. We never know. Okay, so here Benavides got somebody Davis. Fucking that shit, that shit just disappointed as fuck what you Scott to get went in there and did. That shit disappointing what you Scotty to get, man. Got on that shit. Boy, then got on that narcotic. <laughs> Boy, then got on that stuff and lost his money, man. Can't even get a fight now. Boy, on that shit. What is it, boy? I see Richard Pryor getting on you Scotty ass. Being your master, uh, PJ Big Dog salutes his boots and six. Like it says, it's PBC leading promotion. Says in uh, Plant Caleb. Says if yes, says do you choose? Oh, says do they choose the judge or commission? That that shit, I'm not sh sure. Man, I don't know what the fuck goes on in boxing, man. I don't know what goes on. I'm pretty sure the state commission's probably regular. Maybe they get input or something. But but they need to bring that open scoring shit back. Maybe Nevada Commission needs to make open scoring so people can see when these judges 
give somebody a bullshit fucking round and see how the crowd and people on TV react to it. But those that that internal shit in boxing, I don't really know too much about none of that shit. I don't even know what the belts are anymore. I don't know what none of these belts are anymore. Jay Wayne says Platt says uh says Plant would have to knock him out. Says and that's not going to happen. Says he's already down eight rounds to four, and that's crazy, man. I'm so many people are talking about how far down Plant is on scorecards already. Like the judges are such a fucked up factor in this sport. The fucking judges are a fucked up factor in this sport. Everything's a fucked up factor in boxing, man. Even they sanctioned by it. like that shit they pull with Otto Wilden is fucking bullshit. And that's why I say, man, Otto Wilden better sue the dog shit out of boxing. He better motherfucking go in there and do a Denzel Washington line from motherfucking, uh, from what's that movie motherfucking <laughs> Denzel was in? I can't even remember the name of that shit. Uh, what's that shit? Well, King Kong ain't got shit on me. On all this shit. <laughs> he better flip out on these motherfuckers. He better file a lawsuit. Because the fact that motherfucking, they fight get canceled. Dylan White talking about some shoulder injury. And now all of a sudden, talks them popped up about him and Tyson Fury. Like, is Eddie Hearn that fucking dumb of a fool that he ain't going to even wait? He just <laughs> wait till they get a, the day. As a matter of fact, today was supposed to be the fucking fight. He wait till the fight day get by, get close to it in a week, and then go in here and motherfucking scales into some shit with Tyson Fury. What a piece of shit. Here go fucking Jerron beating the dog shit out of Lippinette's ass. Let's see what's about to happen. Ooh, set motherfucking Lippinette's down. Mirror says starting uh so starting to uh or starting to get excited for that Canelo plant fight. Man, I hope plant pulled this shit off, man. That would be such, such a major victory right there. And Sebastian says Thomas, uh Thomas may give him problems. I think so. I think Thomas gonna come in here and give Boots some problems early on. Don't see how, how Boots solved them problems. OG Eric St. Louis in the building. Salute, bro. PJ Big Dog says plant says must drop Canelo. Says Canelo enters the fight 10 rounds in his, I mean nine rounds in his pocket. OG Eric St. Louis says salute family. Logic says who should uh Rivera face uh next? Lenares. I don't know, man. Lenar's fuck around and knock Rivera ass out, man. Rivera can't fight like he fought today, but then sometimes that, that is true where people fight down to the level of fighters they're fighting. That that shit that shit could be true. Maybe it's just he was not fully engaged in this fight with this opponent. Oh yeah, training day. Yeah, that's the name that fucking the name of that movie fucking uh Denzel was in. Training day. That's how motherfucking Otto Wallen better kick in the motherfucking WBC door, Eddie Hearn door, commission door, go in there with his lawyers and do that training day shit on their ass. PJ Bidoff says boxing is a dirty game since it's been a wild, wild west. Yeah, they just, they just allow to do what the hell they want in this damn sport, especially this Eddie Hearn motherfucker. You don't want to take a drug test? All right, fuck the drug test. We're going to move the fight over here. I mean, this motherfucker done, done all type of scumbag shit in this damn sport of boxing. Remember he pulled that shit with J Danny Jacobs and, and Jacobs allowed that fuck shit. Jay Wayne says, training day. Says, I put cases on all you bitches. <laughs> Jay Wayne says, Lenar says it's too much for him. Yeah, Lenar's may be too much for that guy. But the fact that, that Eddie done pulled that shit with the fucking Dillian White shit when he fell on Reeves' ass, pulled that shit. This motherfucker is just a, 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 no morals at all, man. It's an unethical motherfucker, man. He like the Donald Trump of fucking boxing, man. Just unethical as fuck. If it's a fucking rule to bend or some loophole he can find, he gonna do it. Just like fucking, they find out motherfucking with Jenny Jacobs, stupid ass, taking on that fight against Chavez. I know the money was there, so that's why he didn't turn it down. Chavez ass hiding under boxing rings they talking about. Sneaking out, running away, avoiding taking the drug test. And it was like, man, fuck that. The commission had to suspend his ass. And what Eddie do? He say, fuck the Nevada commission. We're going right over here to fucking uh to Arizona. We're gonna get out of Dodge, go over to Arizona, take this fight. Like that motherfucker is just full of shit. All right, Dylan White, man, just fake the shoulder injury. All right. Okay, we'll fake it, man. How long am I gonna be out? In two days. <laughs> motherfucker counsel the fight for two days. And then already talking about fighting the next motherfucker. God damn, boy, that motherfucker the dummy. Mir says, Delorme says, uh, decided to dress up as a boxer for Halloween. 
Let me see. What the fuck we got? I know I see a fool with a t-shirt. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get this one out of the way from a verified over. We're going to go to Boots Boots Ennis. Ref checking, doing his checks. Good job. Good job from the ref. Checking where the mouthpiece is. Spit the goddamn gum out. Get the mouthpiece in. Let's see, man. Come on, get this bell ringing. Here we go, folks. Get this damn bell ringing. And here we getting ready for Zapata going to come on at the same time. They got Brandon Lee. Damn, Brandon Lee, 23 with 21 knockouts. Brandon Lee really that serious business, motherfucker. He like one of these dudes from a Van Damme movie and shit. He like one of the bad guys and kicking everybody ass. Look at the black dude behind him. He like a fighter, man. <laughs> The black dude behind him, man. <laughs> Fuck around, try to snuff uh, Brandon Lee ass. Brandon Lee, 21 wins with 20, 23 wins with 21 knockouts. Damn, motherfucker knocking shit out. Damn, Bruce Lee. Logic says, I think Wallace says, could be white. Says, maybe WBC agreed to this based on uh, white trying to sue the WBC. Man, the WBC need to be sued by every motherfucker in the damn sport. But Otto Wallen got a damn case, man. He got a case to sue multiple people. He sued Dillian White ass in the midst of it, too. He better he better stop being nice, man, with these motherfuckers in boxing. That shit's fucked up. Like they really took this dude money away like that. Really took that's that's millions of probably millions or half a million gone from Otto Wallen's fight by them pulling that shit. All right, here gonna Vargas about to walk out to the ring. I'm going for some pay. I don't want some pay to beat Vargas fucking ass. I I I don't know. I'm just saying that shit off of that disrespect, but I understand whole sweat a young guy. Of course, that's going to be the energy of young folks. Let's hurry up, PBC. Let's get this goddamn fight started. Shit. Let's go. Tell the tape. 24 for uh, Ennis, 31 for DeLorme. I ain't know Ennis is that, that young and shit. Uh, let's see. 5 for 10, but for both fighters, 146 and a half or Ennis, 146 for uh, DeLorme. 74-inch reach for Ennis, 70-and-a-half-inch reach for DeLorme. So let's get this shit going. Six years, the elder is DeLorme. Still young enough. Not past prime, ain't too, too old. Let's go. Let's go, goddammit. Let's get ready to motherfucking rumble, goddammit. Let's get ready to rumble, god damn it. So we'll at least get these rounds started before uh, this damn other fight. Here go Danny Garcia bringing the ring, the uh, some belt for Jose Vargas. What belt Vargas has got? Here go Cheetah, Moretti. They always on the card together. Sometimes they get another homie that work with them. I always see Moretti and Cheetah on fucking fight guards together. How does that shit happen? How does that shit happen? Thomas Harris in the building says salute, says a cursing commentator. <laughs> I've been working. I started off bad. I think I didn't clean it up a lot. I didn't cleaned up some, man. Mir says Danny Garcia says holding the belt, uh, says holding the JV belt for Var Hope for Whole Sway. Yeah, I see him holding the belt. Like, where the hell Whole Sway Vargas get a fucking belt? Look, slipped up and cussed. He says, Thank you for the rinse, Thomas Harris. Are oh, you welcome, bro? You welcome, bro. All right, here go Thomas Delore may being introduced as Zepedo's being walked to the ring. Been out the ring for 161 days. Not too bad. All right, making this track out. Let's see how this shit go. Let's see how this goddamn fight go. I can't wait for this shit. But we, I mean, I'm staying over here with the Jerron in this fight. I'll look over here and call this other fight every now and then. Come on, let's hurry up, speed this one up. Hopefully they do a national anthem or some shit over here in the Zepeda fight. Do a national anthem. The only time I want to hear a national anthem when I ain't watching this shit, delay it some. He playing that mariachi shit. You know, you, you from California, you got essays in your hood. You know, they had that mariachi music playing. And they had parties for two days and the motherfucking... When I lived in Long Beach, man, my neighbors across the street with the Mexican family, them motherfuckers party every fucking weekend. Every damn weekend. Then they be drinking that goddamn Corona and the Modelo and shit and be beating each other up. 
<laughs> hey, so be each other the fuck up. Thomas Harris says, Boo says, gonna work, says, gonna work this guy. Says, I like Thomas, says, he, uh, I like Thomas too, says, he's a great prospect. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what Jerron gonna do. Let's see what this guy gonna do. Thomas Harris says, what channel is the other fight? ESPN. ESPN for the uh, uh, Zepeda one. Hopefully, Zepeda knock fucking whole sway ass out. There we go. Bell is in. Let's see what Tillarme gonna do. Good jab in there by uh, Ennis. Ennis trying to shoot down. Jerron. Uh, uh, Delorme trying to go low with the jab. Thomas Harris said they were beating each other up. Hell yeah, they're beating each other up. Look, Delorme already coming with it. Look. They go Delorme. Jab to the chest from uh, Delorme. Slip out the way. There he's slipping Duran uh, uh, jabs. He tried to dip down low. Duran caught him low with the jab. They go Duran trying to shoot the jab. Missed the first one. Came with the second one. Good jab to the body by Delorme. This is a good test right here. Good slip of the punch here by uh, by Delorme. Good slip again by Delorme. Good shit from Delorme. Like I said, you never know. Oh my God. Wild swing and a miss by Delorme. Already trying to go for the gusto. Delorme already trying to knock his head off. They go in and shooting the jab. Delorme coming in swinging that hard with the left hook. He better time himself, control himself. He come in and trying to come with the double jab. They were in switching over with the right hand. Here come Delorme trying to knock down the jab. Oh, good right hook to the body in by Delorme. He's in it's coming in tight. Oh, boom! Locked him on the side of the head and he is down. Caught him to the side of the head. Oh, shit, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's taking his time. He's Ocho up. He heard Ocho. He said, oh, shit, that's close to Diaz. He got cracked to the back of the head. He hurt. He's hurt. Oh, this may be over. Boom. One, two. Oh, shit. And it's a serious business. And it's on his fucking ass. Delorme may find the right hook. And this better be careful. Delorme may better start ducking. Oh, shit. He, right. he caught Ennis he caught with the right hand. Oh, Ennis with the straight left. And he's down on his fucking ass. Holy shit. This boy's bad, motherfuckers. This boy is bad. Delorme can barely get up. He hurt bad. One fucking round. One fucking round. One round. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. One fucking round? Oh, God. One fucking round? Wow. Wow. Jerron Ennis is this fucking bad? Wow. Wow. He caught him on the side of that head with that punch. I thought it was going to be tough. DeLorme was doing good. One fucking round destruction. Wow. Jay Wayne says, they, uh, this is too much talent since DeLorme says he had a good plan. Mir saying already rolling. Rich Ray Crowder says clap back says salute, salute, my brother. Cameron in the building says he beating his uh fucking ass. Wow, one fucking round. Says Dizzy say, damn. Saying, wow, Patricia with the gloves. Brian G's first round says Ennis the truth. They ain't no, uh, they don't want to fight Ennis. Let's go over to this other fight. Says, I told you. Y'all said that shit. I didn't think it was gonna happen like that. Damn, says Boots says looks better than us. Uh, looks better every fight. Brian G says boy is bad. God damn. Says didn't you didn't know? Hell, I I know he's good. I ain't think he's this fucking good. You don't think his power is that damn real? Says it is his best. Uh, and it's the best in any heavyweight. I don't know. You got to fight. Says Boots is real deal. Says that shot says behind the ear. Says couldn't recover. Wow. Let's go over here to this other fucking fight. Let's go to Jose Vargas. What quick fucking work right there. Caught, caught him. That's why it's dangerous when fighters be leaning over their front foot like that, trying to avoid punches. Let's see. Here go Jose. He's trying to jab. Here go oh, Zepeda coming at Jose with the jab. Jab again in here by Zepeda. Come on, Jose. You talked all that shit. You better fight this goddamn dude. He going to fuck you up. Wow. What a fucking showing here. Look. Oh, my God. Is this so Jose holding already? Let the nerves kick in on Jose. Did Josue nerves kick in? Here come Josue trying to lunge at him, coming in wild, missing those punches. As Zepeda just ca casually and calmly leans back away from him. Here comes Zepeda coming at him with the jab. Josue looking a little jittery here, firing off the big shots. Look, front running, and here come 
the young patient Zepeda, boom, jab down to the body. There go Josue shooting this jab. There goes Zepeda, feeling very calm with this young fighter, looking a little antsy. Jab to the body by both fighters. Let's see if Josue can calm down. Josue caught him walking in with the jab. Oh, he's out! Get your motherfucking young ass out of here! Boom! He's out, folks! Oh! He's out! Back up, back one round knockouts! You young motherfucker, you talked all that shit and got caught! He's out! He's out! Boom! Get this young motherfucker out of here! He's hurt! Get him out of here, Zepeda! Get him out of here! Bitch! Get him out of here! Get him, Zepeda! Get him! Get this young punk up out of here. You talked all that way and shit. Look, he's stumbling. Boom! He oh shit! He knocked him the fuck out! Get the fuck out of here! Get him the fuck out of here, bitch! Get the fuck out of here! Josue! Yeah! Talked all that shit. Stay humble. <laughs> Stay humble. Get the fuck out of here. Talked all that bullshit for one round. Talked all that bullshit for one round. Stay humble. Dusted him the fuck off. Look, <laughs> his family over there crying. <laughs> his family out there crying. They talked all that shit too at the way in. I gotta, I gotta take a picture of that shit. I think Old Sway got a twin. <laughs> oh shit. This motherfucking brother over there boo-hooing. Let me get a picture of that shit. That motherfucker rubbing his head. Look at his brother. <laughs> they talk all that shit to Zepeda only to come in here and get knocked the fuck out. Two back-to-back -back knockouts. How y'all line these two fights up for two knockouts? Hey, keep your shit going, Ennis. Wow, get Zepeda the fuck out of here. What I tell y'all was going to happen? I knew that shit was going to happen in the Zepeda fight. Young motherfucker talking all that shit. Look at this motherfucker brother crying. <laughs> I got to take these photos because I'm about to do a quick video. This motherfucker, this motherfucker, <laughs> ah, that nigga brother over there crying. That's what y'all get. Y'all talk all that street gangster shit. You talk all that street gangster shit to sit your ass on your motherfucking face in that goddamn ring. Not respecting this dude. Zepeda ain't no motherfucking disrespectful dude. That's what I'm saying. That motherfucker Zepeda be so calm, so fucking relaxed, and is a fucking killer. That motherfucker is a killer. You young motherfuckers better calm the fuck down. Better calm the fuck down. Motherfucker ate this motherfucker for breakfast. He ate Vargas the fuck up. Vargas family over there crying. <laughs> I can't get enough of that shit. He got him on the shoulders. Let's talk these motherfuckers and pay to talk these niggas. Talk the whole fucking crowd. Nigga. Come out here and talk all that pussy shit. Oh, shit. Let me calm down, man. I'm an amped up motherfucker. That's why I don't go to be at the damn fights because I can't act like this in a fight without them calling security. And this motherfucker having Tourette's. <laughs> motherfucker over there in section B1 having Tourette's. Get him out of here. <laughs> Oh, shit. They did all says, when I call it, y'all better listen. Let me see. Says, boots, uh, oh, he never recovered. Let me catch up. All right, pause on the comments. Good motherfucking shit, goddamn Zepeda. Get these young pussy-ass motherfuckers out of here. Logic says, hopefully, says, boots and Ortiz says, can uh, face the Danny uh, Danny G, Thurman, Porter, says, in division, says, they need uh, the opportunity. They need to fight each other. And Charles says, holy shit. Real uh, 24 Geezy says, uh, Philly, Philly. Boom! Right on that nigga Vargas. Cop that motherfucker. It's a pay to make him kiss the canvas. Oh, shit. Hold on. God damn it. Uh, ain't that motherfucker at. Kiss the glove, whole sway. Kiss my motherfucking glove. <laughs> he made him kiss the glove. Oh, my God. This is what the fuck he get, man. That's why I was I was thinking that fucking, uh, what's that going to do to Shakur for disrespecting him at the way in? Pie out. Ate that motherfucker. Man, eat your dinner off this motherfucking mat. <laughs> your dinner on the mat. Nya, 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 nya. Oh, shit. You gave him a mat. Mat, 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 <laughs> Turn that into Billy Go. Mat, 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 mat. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Look at him. Oh, shit. Jose. Oh, shit. Some pain of killer. 
<laughs> oh man, God damn, that's what I'm fucking talking about. I'm motherfucking Ab. As you Charles says, God, God says, oh we. JA says, wow, 20 more years. He says, says Boots is representing. He says, I got boots against everybody well to wait. JA saying, damn. Man, y'all better throw wait. What way does us to pay that? Paid over here cracking niggas' faces. <laughs> said, Stay humble for real. I just thought that that was insane. Logic said, Wow, says, Damn, what a night of boxing. Says, Woo! When boxing delivery it comes to a mirror, says, Yo, Sway says, was crying, says, In the Mayweather gym a year ago. Yeah, they kicked his ass out of for acting like a piece of shit. Mirror in the rolling. Jay Wayne says, Is that a grown man crying? Man, it's grown ass brother over there crying. Man, that motherfucker, that's what I'm talking about, motherfuckers that pay. Let me get through our comments. I gotta make a quick video, my post fight, quick little clip, because y'all know I'll be making videos in hot seconds. Angie Charles says that was freaking crazy. Oh, Jay rolling. Yo was saying, damn. Shermaine in there rolling. Jay says, damn, says cuz <laughs> says, damn, cuz gets uh gets maxed out. Says, and is your brother crying on camera? Yeah. All that old amped up shit, man. Them niggas better kill that shit. Look, they can't even put the paint up. They they can't even put a whole sway arm up. <laughs> Nigga limp still. Motherfucker still over there noodle. <laughs> noodle knocks. <laughs> hey, motherfucker noodles got knocked in the ring. Come over here grabbing niggas belts and doing all this other shit. Like calm that shit down. Wait to the fight, man. Good shit, Zapata. Let me make. I gotta. I gotta give Zapata's respect because Zapata. The reason why I rock with Zapata is Zapata put on the best fight I ever seen in my fucking life with him and Baranichek. And then I ain't know he's from Long Beach. Like I said, I lived in the east side of Long Beach before I moved to Vegas. And so I, I you know, I got I got to show a little love for Long Beach. Zapata from that shit, mixing motherfuckers' heads up. <laughs> he beat the motherfuckers' heads up. <laughs> oh shit, motherfucker head buster. Motherfucker beating people heads up, man. God damn. It ought to be against the law to hit a motherfucker head like that. He be Josue fucking ass the fuck up like he should have. And then you got the brother over here crying. <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker turning to call Thomas over there. I'm emotional. <laughs> and I can't let go. God damn. Motherfucker slept my brother. <laughs> Say, give me, what's that motherfucker come out like the Harlem Knight motherfucker with his little ass pistol? <laughs> Put that shit away. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, goddamn Zapata, you motherfucker. Angie Charles says, congratulations, Zapata. Says, God dang. Y'all just exactly right. Says, stay humble. So now you have to live with those words, motherfucker, in the actions. Mirror says, never would have thought. The first round, though, says, embarrass all the Ricans. God damn. Oh, poor Rico, man. They probably like, man, execute that motherfucker, Verdejo. <laughs> man, just put Verdejo in the chamber, man. Maybe you feel happy about some shit. Good motherfucking job, Zapata. Good motherfucker. He caught that little bit. Boom. <laughs> that motherfucker whole face seen the cabins coming in quick. <laughs> motherfucker should have. Radio in the fucking, he got hit with that punch, man, his brain radio in the air traffic control. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> oh, shit. Coming in, we stalled. <laughs> we stalled out. Ground coming, it's approaching fast. <laughs> Elevation. <laughs> that motherfucking body just immediately stopped like, boom. <laughs> That's what your ass get, young motherfucking. Big homie says, says Boo says he wants uh wants Arrow next. Whoa. Earl, the Arrow gets scared of that shit. Angie Charles says, dog his ass. Shemaine says Boo should have uh should have been uh the headliner. But what's the name pretty good too? I want to see Jamal James get his shit. J uh Jay Wayne says Zelda, man. Oh man, what a fucking punch. I gotta make a quick video, man. Pause on the comments. Let me do my quick video. Let me show y'all how quick I work. Boom, got the fitty, the photos clipped up. From the quick highlights, go right into my Kind Master on my telephone. It's all day. Work from the phone. Quick. Watch how quick y'all see this shit upload. Watch this shit. Oh, sorry. I was on mute. Sorry. Watch how quick I clip this video up. So I go, go right into the phone, load my videos up from the highlight clips here on Kind Master. Let me put y'all up on game, show y'all how to do this because I spread knowledge. Don't hold this shit for myself. So I put those clips in there on Kind Master. Add them, splice them how I want to. This is going to be the front headline photo here, him getting that chin rocked 
buyout, got the buyout to his chin, and then he called for a radio dispatch. <laughs> Kamikaze this face to the motherfucking canvas. Eat your motherfucking food on the ground, sway. So the uh so all right, let me finish on. I'm all amped up as fuck. So make put the clips in here, my little photo clips. So I go through, look, let you see my photo clips, put y'all up on this game, show y'all how to, how uh, efficient we do this. And I just speak my freestyle, I just freestyle off. All that shit is collected into my computer bank, buyout inside the brain. And I'm going to just speak on what I talk about. I can be amped up, I can be cool, reserved, or I can be as amped as I am. And watch how fast y'all see this video uploaded. Check this shit out. Let me go on mute real quick. All right, folks. So there, I just finished my video. I'm amped up. So this is going to be an amped up video. I download it, put my resolution, frame rate, hitting send. That video's out the way. Loading that shit up. And then it'll be on YouTube here in a second. Once it finished downloading, depending on how great a signal I got using the Wi-Fi up in here, downloading that video. So it's completed, and let me get my title. So all I gotta do is come up with this a title. So I'm gonna say, let me see, then I gotta watch my wording with YouTube. If I say some shit like he annihilated, they may say, hey, that's a little bit too violent. Uh, we're gonna have to block that a little bit. Let's go into it. Let me see, let's see. Stops, let's see. First round knockout, Jose Zepeda's first round knockout. Jose. Zapata, make sure I spell his name properly. Jose Zapata's first round knockout. Oh no, let's put stops. Stops, whole sway. His name is Joe Sue Vargas in the first round. In the first, let's put that round and so i'm gonna copy and paste it because that's just going on my second channel as well those haven't subscribed to my backup please hit me up and bam here we go uploading we'll have a video here while i'm live so i'm doing a video live boom 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 knocking out that video let me go Sylvester saying boxing says it's lit tonight that shit lit as fuck Cepeda says there uh said there's levels to this absolutely shoulders ass 
24 Geezy says, I love Earl, says he's been my favorite, says and I'm uh in my uh top three favorites, current fighters, says, but I think Boots is gonna take over this. Uh my Roy oh, says and my Roy Jones, my generation, uh Philly taking over. And he can fuck around, get Earl. Earl and them have come to kind of that 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 point. But then again, Gerard can fuck around and step to Earl and get whole sway Vargas as well. So he has to be mindful, but that motherfucker's skills are such high level. He punches, man. 24 Gigi says Jerron uh says Jerron in the stops Virgil Ortiz within three. They need to fight. Those two definitely need to fight. Logic says Sting Boot says is a threat to everybody in the division. Man, he is definitely a threat. He fucking dusted Delorme made the fuck off. He dusted him the fuck off right now. But they gotta fight. I don't want to crown him too early. He got he has to fight. He has to fight these guys, get his name in the mix, see what, what shakes out the tree from there. Says stop Virgil within three right now. So Logic says I think Boo says is a threat to everybody in the division. Says Boo deserve you guys. Says more than Stanley Onis. Yeah, Stanley Onis just leapfrogged everybody. I like Stanley Onis, but damn, he leapfrogged everybody like that. All right, I'm gonna just tap through the, the comments because this fight about to come on. Says uh, Boots says Boots will fuck up Porter. Says Ann Crawford, they got a fight. Ja says Vargas says head says head hurt like a motherfucker right now. Man, that fuck couldn't even stand next to get the announcement. Mira says the Pedro says will uh, be Jose Ramirez says again says if they rematch says they sold a fight from him. Man, I'm rocking with that motherfucker as a Pedro man. Now, I say he gave me the greatest fight I ever seen in my fucking life. That shit was amazing, amazing. Just like I can't disrespect uh, Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley gave me one of the greatest fights I've seen. Except I don't listen to Tim Bradley commentary, so I don't get too knocked off. <laughs> Andrew Charles says Jose may retire, man. <laughs> After that, as well, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get like that no more, coach. Daddy, I'm sorry. I don't want to fight no more, dad. That's why they was out there crying like that. Daddy, I don't want to do that no more. I can't get hit that hard no more, dad. Can't get and lost a tooth. Now he lost a whole fucking chin. He lost a whole goddamn chin. His whole chin sitting on the goddamn dirt right now. His whole chin got knocked the fuck off, man. Motherfucker out there with the Space Jam face. Hold on, let me go. I want a different clip. Let me get a better clip for this shit. There we go. I want the chin knocked. Motherfucker in there looking like Sammy Davis. Remember? When, when, uh, what's his name? Tommy Davis plays Sammy Davis with the mouth all sideways. He says, even the trainer says shit on Jose. <laughs> As they should. Jose came in there starting all that bullshit. He started all that bullshit to get his face put in the motherfucking plant. Planet. Motherfucker went skydiving without a parachute. That's what Jose did. He went skydiving and left the parachute. He said, oh shit, I forgot something. It says shout out to Boots. It says both these dudes says wreck the uh wreck their opponents. Absolutely. Andrew Charles says I uh, says uh big time underrated Zapata tonight. It says that was awesome. That was awesome as fuck. Jay says salute. It says you uh says you uh oh, says salute for the free game. Yes sir. Yes sir. Logic says PJ's uh says the PBC says need to give Boots a shot. It says he's a future and should be facing you guys more or more than standing. Oh no, that ain't PBC. That's these sorry ass sanctioning bodies. Them section of bodies ordered that bullshit. But Sandy Owens been putting in work. I can't take nothing from him. But he shouldn't bypass. They shouldn't stop you guys from what doing what he was trying to do. They shouldn't have stopped that. Andrew Charles has told that man to retire. <laughs> he says he's a damn fool. Says Vargas, he's Laroli. Says they got says they got the ringside knockout of whole sway already posted. Man, God damn that internet don't play, man. I love seeing that shit. I whole sway shouldn't that not have done that shit to that motherfucker. Zapata, one of them quiet motherfuckers you don't fuck with, man. You don't fuck with that motherfucker unless you really know how to fight. And J.A. says Vargas says, uh, says had, a, had the worst L of the year. Just for that talking, right? Says the things. So the thing is, is when you put on an impressive performance like Boots, says it's hard to make fights, sis, because other names don't want to make, don't want that smoke. That's facts. He says Vargas, says Romeo says, damn. Oh, they go D Hodge in the building saluting everybody. Salute my brother D Hodge says and salute to myself in the chat OBC. Romeo says Vargas says we'll send the others to the cemetery. You gotta be related to Vargas, bro. Are you put money on Vargas? Vargas got that whole chin fucking flat line. His whole face got uh, uh rubbed off. Motherfucker, whole face was rubbed off. Here we go with Jamal James about to come out here. That shit was amazing shit right there. 
Damn, man, get this, this motherfucking bowl cut. Mark Davis's name. <laughs> man, Al Davis ought to come up here and snap this motherfucker head. Look at that bullshit. Man, what the fuck Mark Davis got on his fucking head, man? I will go to jail just to want to fucking smack Mark Davis on the back of his head, man. Just watch that shit turn red. God damn, man. Mark Davis only billionaire. <laughs> you know, poo nanny, man. He go round one. Let's see what Jamal day and he go boot at boot bootyf. Good jab in there by Jamal. Very tall fighter here is Jamal James. Bootyf coming walking in with the jab to the body. Here go Jamal trying to maintain distance, moving around. Jamal being busy, knowing he got to move around because this guy look like he got a strong punch on Anthony Jones. Says should Delorme retire? Fuck yeah, Delorme may want to retire. Oh, good strong jab to the body thrown by Booty Evans. Jamal moving around, trying to shoot that jab, popping into the top of the head. You go Jamal trying to j- tap tap with that jab, trying to throw right hand behind there. He's tapping with the jab, maintaining the distance. But here's a smart guy by Booty Evans by j- trying to work to the body on uh on uh Jamal James. Jamal James staying distance, shooting that jab. Here he come up with the forty five on that lead hand. Tapping Booty F to the head. And Booty F leaning, at, leaning over that front foot. So he's uh, uh, less, you know, not maintaining uh, the distance that Jamal has to travel. But good, strong jab. He's trying to work down to the body. Jab to the body again by Booty F. Jamal, fuck around, getting knocked out. He's going to let this guy close distance. Look at this guy coming in on Jamal. He look like a strong puncher. Jamal better be mindful and try to throw something with, with crack on it. Jay Wayne says, somebody says, take Mark Davis says, to a black barber. Right. <laughs> that motherfucker here says he's on the verge of being pulled from. Oh, man, ESPN saying they, they're on the verge of pulling uh, uh, Roley. Roley fucking with them dumb, dumb, hating ass bitches. But who knows? I don't think they're going to pull him. I think that shit just. Oh, big right hand in it by Jamal James. So like says, at this point, says, I think Ortiz has slight better resume than Boots. Says that. Oh, good right hand in it again by Jamal James. Says that says, says can't deny boot skills. Says him over Ortiz says at the moment. Absolutely. Here goes Jamal. Swing that left hook. We didn't get nothing on the left. Do that right hand on it. Here he start putting some up. He's putting something on crack. Putting that crack on these punches. Oh, good jab to the body and by Booty F. Booty F working good with these jabs to the body. Him Jamal. Why is Jamal leaning down like that? Jamal better stop leaning down like that. Jay says the Jay Wayne rolling. Logic says Delorme says now one and six in his last fight. Says he's done at the top level. Man, his head got to be hurting for a month after getting hit like that. Jamal with the left hook, missing that right hand, trying to come down with the with the right, the straight right. There he is throwing the right to the side of body, Booty Evs. And then he's shooting Booty Evs with two jabs. Booty Evs, look, controlling the hands. There goes Jamal James doing a good job with his long arms, trying to control control the jabs here of uh, Booty Evs. You know, Booty Evs got Jamal against those ropes. Jamal better get away from these ropes. Here he's trying to walk his way out. Better stop acting slinky as shit in these clinches. Allowing himself to be pushed back. Good head movement by Jamal. Through the left down to the body. Logic says, they, uh, I think Roley says fight was canceled. I thought they just sent that message talking about he might be pulled. That kid fucked up trying to be with these damn bitches who would snitch on you. I mean, pull pull the switcheroo on your fucking ass. And then uh, D. Hodges says, wearing the fro. Because the shit with, with Roley, when I see him live, he say some wild ass shit with these girls. He say a lot of wild shit. Them girls be sitting there laughing, but now he's coming into this money. Shit done change. Just like talking about being a porn star with these chicks, they be sitting in there laughing and shit. All right, there go Jamal James to that first round. And then 24 G says, Michael Benson says that Showtime says is looking for a replacement for Tank. Wow, that motherfucker fucked off that money, man. He's going to be poor now. Angie Charles says nobody outside of YouTube boxing says talking about Roly R Tank says the fight will go on. I think the fight is going to go on, too. I don't think it should be that serious. I think when Vegas looks into it, they're going to drop that shit. Logic says Regis Progray is trying to uh, get in as a replacement for Roley, says, which honestly will be a tougher fight for Tank, in my opinion. Mirror says Showtime showed every fight on their schedule, says, for the rest of the year except Tank and Roley. Whoa, I think Roley might be out. Wow. Jay Wayne says, uh, says, why can't tall fighters fight tall? Right, right, bro. Why these tall motherfuckers can't fight tall for real? Motherfucker, Jamal leaning over. He's going to get cracked with somebody's better be a looking motherfucker. Here go round number two. And he says, why can't talk about this fight five? William Old School in the building says, what's good? What's good, my brother? D. Hodges, the logic salute. 24 Giza says, uh, says they definitely says going to be looking uh, deep into the situation, especially because the dumb shit he's been saying uh, through the years. And that's probably what's going to be. But I, like I said, he be having them girls saying that crazy shit with them there and they be laughing and shit. 
Logic says uh, to uh, salute the D Hodges, my brother, big homie, cool up in the building, salute my brother, PG's big dog says, how the hell Jamal make 147? Says that weight cut must be crazy. Yeah, did, does he struggle to make the weight though? Because he probably don't want to fight the 154 guys. His tall fighter says, use, uh, used to use that uh, to their advantage. Says, not today. Oh, shit. Good left to the body, far by right to the jaw. Let's see them legs on fucking bed, uh, BTF. Do they look a little flat? No, the right hand by Jamal James. Good shit. 24 Geezy says, he, oh, shit. Did he rock Jamal James? He threw a left hook, then threw a right to the side of Jamal's body. Here he is coming at Jamal with the double jab. Jamal, they're too close to those ropes. Here he is. Pivot, pivot up off the ropes, spun out. He's going to go. He's rolling and ducking up on these shots from Betia. Betia is chasing up at him. A little short right down to the body as Jamal dips down, pressing forward at him. Says the only possible opponent says for Tank next should be Regis. Says or Ike Cruz says maybe Gary Russell. Gary ain't going to fight Tank. Gary's so full of shit. Oh, good uppercut by Jamal. Left hook entered by Betia. This heat up. Good left to the body by Jamal James. When old school says, yeah. Says boots and problems. Says for everyone at uh, 147. Oh, Betia going to the body with the hooks. Jamal trying to fight. Running his way up out of there. Throwing his punches. 112. Oh, good left to the body by Jamal. Left hook thrown up top. Thrown by Betia. Double jabbing it by Jamal. Uppercut by Jamal. Right hook. Uppercut. Left uppercut by Jamal. Long. Jamal mixing him up. Here's Jamal on the inside. Oh, Betty up with the right hook to the jaw, left down to the body by Betty up. Betty up throwing that right hand. Jamal spinning out the way of it. Betty up with the jab to the chest. Jamal comes back up, jab, taps him on the head. Jamal fires the left hook. Betty up coming with the pressure. Come Betty up, come with the pressure. Boom, big right hand to the side of Jamal's body thrown by Betty up. Betty up chasing after Jamal. Betty up is on the hunt. Jamal trying to get out of there. Short uppercut in there. That body shot hurt Jamal, I think. Think that body shot may have hurt him. Mir says Booth says gave uh gave a top top fighter some some really good work says in sparring recently. Oh, who was that? Whoa, left and right hooks in by Jamal. Oh, Betty with the left to the body. Betty doing good body work. Jab, jab by Jamal. But I think Betty's body work is gonna start taxing Jamal. Especially Jamal doing all this running, trying to get out of there. Jamal trying to dunk up on these shots, rolling his head low. Here he gets hit to the side of the body as the ref's going in to break him. 24 Giddy says breaking news. Mike Comment just says Rowley says is on the verge of being pulled, says from the fight. Sources told. ESPN and the ESPN. I just seen that alert come through talking about that Roly thing. Roly is a fucking man. You better not fuck that fight off fucking with them broads. And that's gonna be a, 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 a Betty F round. That round is for Betty F. But that's what happens, man. You be like I said, I used to say wild ass shit to a lot of chicks, but these like I say chicks love me, but I wasn't wild and a sucker like Roly. I some of them fuckers push the limit on dumb shit they say, but I used to be able to say some of the most raunchiest shit to chicks. Mirrors, and they come around, I hit the lottery or some shit. Oh my God, no, Lord, honor. He uh, grabbed my titties and put his fingers all down my pussy and all that. And I'll be in court. Yeah, you goddamn right I did that shit, judge. And bitch loved it. <laughs> uh, like, shit, I ain't running away from that shit. This is bad, man, that you fucking can't even come off. These bitches can be sexual, have their titties out. I don't want to be touched. I'm only teasing. I told you to touch my ass. And then as soon as you touched it, I said, no. Now you're caught. Now I got a case. I'm taking all that money. 24 Giza says, Mirror says, I think uh, Sean Porter said he wanted to uh, bring in Boots says for Cropper. So maybe that's uh, that's what that was him. PJ Big Dog says Boots says was even ported at work and sparring. Ah, maybe so. Here we go in round number three. 24 Giddy says, I knew I, I knew it. They were saying I right, Cruz says it's gonna be the replacement. Wow. Jay Wayne says, Well, we'll uh says we'll see. Good le- that left was off the side of Orange Jamal trying to draw. Says ESPN told us Fury and Joshua were fighting in Saudi Arabia. That's a good point. PJ Big Dog says it's me too shit. It's crazy. Yeah, it's that me too shit. Like, fuck all that. Oh, jump, triple uppercuts, left to the body. Jamal James, find the left hook. He may got Betty up hurt. Betty up standing there. Betty up throwing a wild left and then hit him with a right to the side of the body. You better stop smiling at this motherfucker, Jamal. Oh, big left to the body by Betty up. Betty up stood in the fire, Jamal throwing all those punches at him. Jamal better put a fucking knuckle on this motherfucker. Uppercut to the chin, had no effect on Betty up. Big Betty up trying to just work off this jab, work off this jab to blind him. He's just trying to blind him with the jab. And the Thomas Harris says, Mike says is a hater, says he wants the fight to be pulled against the PBC. It's a sucker ass old media. Pull right, right to the side of the head. Two rights to the side of the head in the clinch. Ref, get in there. Jamal better lift his fucking head up. Why Jamal giving him the side of his head to fucking hit? Jamal James, you better smarten up. Jay says, good fight. The audience says they scrap it. Hell yeah. This is Jamal landing bomb shit. This Betty had motherfucker land on Jamal. 
Jamal punches ain't got no real effect. There he is tapping Jamal with two little uppercuts on the inside. He swings a jab. Jamal twists and spins out the way of it, getting his head out the way. Uppercut to the body by Betiev. Jamal got to watch his body shot. Look, short left to the body by Betiev. Left hook up top by Betiev. Betiev going to fuck around and knock Jamal tall ass out, man. He going to get jacked by. Look at Jamal leaning over that front of his leg, ducking the bend down up on the shots. He going to get hit with an uppercut. That's all this guy needs. This Step at the angle. Look, Jamal giving him the back of his head. Jamal will get hit back to the back of the head, lean his head down. Look at him, all this stupid ass leaning shit. Ref, get I hate this fucking ref. He fucks off fucking fights. Shut your bald head, fucking Uncle Fester ass up. Jamal ain't hit him with a big right hand. This dude is still there. Jamal ain't got nothing to hit this guy with. He ain't got no power to hit this guy with. Jamal better just box. Just box and move on him. Little left hook by Jamal. And Charles says, if, if a female says he's getting off work and there, uh, there's a dude says wearing a fur, says with no shirt on, waiting for you, says know what you're getting into, says and be safe, says that's all I'm saying. These girls know what they be doing, man. Some of them pull that shit, especially with motherfucker like Roll. They look at him a sucker, probably looking for some money from him. Jamal just rolling and covering up. Come on, Jamal. This dude gonna knock you the fuck out. Jab to the body. These jab, these body shots to hurt Jamal. That's why Jamal leaned over like that. Good uppercut in there. And now he's telling Jamal, stop leaning over like that. That body shot hurt Jamal. Jamal's hurt to the body. That's why he's doing that shit, right to the side of the body. That's going to be a booty ass round again. Jamal's about to get knocked the fuck out fighting like this. And, and Elijah says, do you think Boots says being, oh, says being impressive, says in the ring, says will be a detriment and fighters avoiding him? Says that's how today's boxing goes. Man, he's going to have to force something, man. He gonna have to force. He gonna have to have somebody force the hands of these guys. So I got Booty of winning this round. And here goes Jamal starting off early with these uppercuts, and this guy just stood right there, left to the body. He's still just standing there. He don't respect shit that that Jamal's throwing at him. Jamal's not sitting on shit. He's not shitting on shit. He ain't getting generating the, the power he needs from him. uppercut straight to the chin. This guy psh, treated like motherfucker fed him a piece of candy. Right hand to the side of the head in this clinch. He just stood right there and took that shit like some candy. He said, man, thank you, man. No Halloween tomorrow and shit, but uh, I'll take these little motherfucking uh, Tic Tacs you throwing. Here we go. Round four. We're going to be cool. I says, James says, giving up, says all this height, says all this height advantage. Facts, man. And that shit is pissing, pissing me off seeing him do that. He's with all says, Jamal says, got no power. It says, cutting, uh, says, cutting all that weight. Oh, my God, he lunges at Jamal with the straight right. And Jamal trying to shoot the jab. Booty F trying to step away from him. Booty F steps around to the side angle, hit him with a left hook to the body. Sean Porter style. Quick little step to the left. Boom, left hook thrown with it. Jamal with the jab. This guy putting in some footwork now here on Jamal. He start, he, look, jab, jab, double jab by Jamal. He didn't put the body work in to slow Jamal down. Jamal with the wild uppercut. Boom, right hand over the top thrown by Booty F. Booty F with the right to the body, left to the body. Left to the body. Jamal complained by low blows. He going to the body, tearing Jamal up. He's chopping him now. He's chopping Jamal. Jamal is hurt to the body. He's chopping Jamal. He's doing the right things. Here comes Jamal against those ropes. Jamal swinging the left hook. He's trying to fire the left hook. He missed. Jamal with the right hook. Off the ropes. Here he is, double tapping the jab. Boom, left into the body thrown by Booty F. He's pushing Jamal up off of him. Shut your bald head, dumb ass up, ref, and get the fuck out the way. Damn, dummy. Shit. Thomas says, I have a daughter too. He says, but enough is enough. Says, with me, says, with the Me Too uh, uh, bull. Says, way, uh, says, way too many accusations. Says, after the fact. Says, make me sick to the stomach. That was a low ball. Says, how. He says, Thomas says, how can you, uh, how can you meet abroad? Says if you can't, can uh, have in, uh, interactions, right? Like, like I mean, they, 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 like fuck that shit. A bitch can never come. A bitch embarrass herself trying to play me too with me. I would love to see the day if a bitch should ever try to play some. I did this shit to her and want to go to court. You gonna be embarrassed? Cause I'm a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, body shot again by Boutier. Look, Jamal is fucking breaking down. He breaking Jamal ass down. He breaking Jamal down. Jamal's just trying to run. That's why he's leaning over. Look, Jamal ducking down again. Almost got hit with a left hook. And now this guy bullying Jamal. He's going into the bully. Jamal's hurt. Jamal is hurt right now. He's already complaining. Here this guy. Send up. Short uppercut. Little short uppercut. Tapping uppercut. Pushes Jamal's head down. Go right to the body. 
Don't say shit, Rev. You back your dumb ass up. Here he is tapping on Jamal. He didn't work the body enough. There go right hand to the jaw. Jamal lean over. Jamal throwing the left hook. Right hook thrown by Jamal. This guy ain't worried about shit. Jamal throwing at him. Look at him just tapping, tapping. Jamal with a nice right to the body. The guy ain't feeling it. Boom. He did Jamal to the body. Left up to the head. Swing his hook. Jamal trying to go to the body. He throws a jab. He did enough sit-ups. Good uppercut by Jamal. Uppercut again by Jamal. He go right hand to the body and by Boutier. Left by Boutier, pushing Jamal off him. Jamal slipping a little bit. Jab, jab, jab by Boutier. And that's a Boutier round. They stand each other face. It's a good fucking fight. This is a good fucking fight. Jay says James doing uh, good work, though, man. Shit. PJ Big Dog says, I agree. Jay Wayne says, Jamal James is six foot three, welterweight, says, leaning over. Right. Says, stand up, tuck your chin, says, behind the fucking left shoulder and use a jab. Right, bro. Right. Story B Man says, Jamal says, bending over, he says, giving up his height. Booty F says, can take a shot, concentrate on his body. And he turned Jamal James' body the fuck up. Look how he lunge up at Jamal. Look, fake Jamal. Is he lunging for? He faked that left hand up. That right hand was right on the other side. That was smooth right there. D. Hodges says, the big homie says, salute. Logic says, hey, Red says, what happened? Uh, says, whatever happened to uh, Tank says, hidden run case. Says, did they sell it out of court? Says, hope Tank says, learn from that experience. I was hearing somebody recently talk about it. Think he was supposed to be going to court for it. Oh, shit. Let me change the damn ticker over. Let's go to round five. Jamal about to start getting fucked up in here, leaning over, giving up fucking height, fucking jacking the bean stock and shit. Major Charles says, uh, says, I'm still shocked. Says that house and Peter says, wreck that young punk. Says, God damn, man, I'm after front of shit. There goes Jamal finding the right hand, pushing, pushing Booty F up off of him. Booty F barely went. Oh shit, Booty F throws the left hook as Jamal tries to turn with almost gets rocked. Here he go, gets those ropes, leaning back over again, leaning the fuck over. Booty F, knock him the fuck out. Get him the fuck out of here. Jay says, dude, killing that body. He tearing uh, uh, Jamal James' body up. Jamal lead leg should be bent. And then Andrew Charles says, Storm B man says, salute, Thomas Hill, and they're laughing. Jay Wayne says, uh, Jamal James want to quit. Yeah, that body's starting to hurt. That beast is going to be sucking for air. The other says, why are you fighting low? Oh, good uppercut in there by Jamal James. But Booyah still walking at this motherfucker. Jamal James got to be fucking deterred by hitting this guy. And this guy's still there. Good short uppercut in there by Booyah. He says, come on, bro, says D. Hodges. Look, he's throwing these hooks at uh, Jamal. He's just bullying Jamal. He's just trying to bully Jamal now, but Jamal's allowing it. He Jamal's allowing it. Jamal's allowing it. The booty have come with the right. Jamal throwing the left hook. You know, Jamal trying to hold his grounds off the ropes for a minute. Oh, my God. The right hand is going, look. He ain't even got the ability to balance on his feet. Look at Jamal. He's Jamal is hurt. Jamal James is hurt, and he's faded. He's fatiguing. He's fatiguing. Look how, look how his feet are. Boom. Got hit with the jab. Left down to the body and by booty F. Uppercutting it by Jamal. I just said Jamal actually says one decision over Delorme says two or three fights ago. Boom, left on it by fucking booty after Jamal throwing that side angle, trying to do this shit that I see uh, Navarate do, but not this bad with Jamal. Jab to the body. Jamal in here being hurt down to the body. Thomas Harris says, I feel you. Says, I'll uh, dog abroad, says in the courtroom, says, I'll expose her, uh, letting me spit in her mouth. Says and Sharon, uh, uh, and Sharon says, I just uh, saying, says, don't judge me. Yeah, a lot of these, I mean, I wish a bitch would ever come at trying to play some Me Too shit over some money. And I wish I was in Bill Cosby's situation. I would embarrass every single one of them bitches walked in that court. Good little short body shot in there by a uh, low, low level body shot in there by Booty. Booty has shooting the jab, catches Jamal with the left hook. Jamal just letting off wind, uh, wild shots, tired. Look how Jamal throwing those laboring shots. Look at Jamal throwing these labor shots. God has stepped behind him. Now look, here go this bitch ass ref. Here go this bitch ass ref. You, here come this bitch ass ref. Always fucking over the fight. He always doing this shit. This nigga always fucking over the fight. Get this bitch the fuck out of this goddamn sport, man. Damn. Jay says James says don't have power. Says uh for fight small. Look, get him out of here, fucking booty head. Fuck this ball head, Uncle Fester looking bitch. Fuck this fucking ref. I, every time this ref is in some shit, he always fucking over somebody. Shut the fuck up, ref, you fucking bitch. Come on, booty F, get this nigga up out of here. Good right hook in there by Jamal. Jamal just trying to let him go, but he getting whooped on. Jamal trying to hold now. Booty F, that's a 9-9 nine, nine round. That's still a booty F round. You bitch ass ref. Shut your ass up, ref. Mark ass. Man, I hate these stupid ass motherfuckers. He didn't really do shit. 
Okay, okay. But still, point, come on. But no, nah, maybe so. I know Booty F did that shit. PJ Big Dog said salute. I'll take that back, but the rest still a fucking piece of shit. J.A. says, uh, says James is out there slapping punches like a mug, like Mo Hooker. Logic says, how are these guys? Says fighting for a WBA title. Says one, uh, says one of these fighters, 13 and 0, says, why isn't Boots in this main event? Right? J.A. says, Logic says, facts. Kamara in the building says, uh, says tying your opponent, says, and, uh, or tying, tying your opponent says, has become a lost art. Says James has to tie up, says, has to tie him up, says, on the inside. Jay Wayne says his refs is always getting involved. That ref stay involved in shit. For real, he does, man. Always involved. Thomas Harris says Uncle Fessy. Oh, you laughing? Yeah, it's Uncle Fessy looking motherfucking. Jay says Jamal James is trying to touch gloves every round. Boom! Good right, right hand in there by fucking by Booty F. Then a left to the body. This bitch ass ref in right there. PJ Big Dog says Booty F been dirty. No, nah, Booty F ain't been dirty. Booty F being a fighter. Booty up being a fucking fighter. He ain't done shit dirty. That last punch was probably dirty behind his back. Oh, big right hand by Booty up from Jamal. Go, go, Jamal trying to tie up. He rocking him with these big right hands. This dude styling on, uh, 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 on Jamal right now. He's styling on Jamal. And that's from Jamal not establishing himself early. Not establishing himself early. All that movement, not getting anything worked in there to make this guy think about coming in there. Look at him. He's moving too much. He's moving too much. Come on, Jamal. Hold your ground. Fire the punch. Fire a fast punch. Use that range. Fire a fast fucking punch. You ain't about to back him up. Look, he ain't putting shit on these punches. He tapping booty up with the jab. The jab just tapping booty up. Booty up just stepping in forward. Throwing the jab to the body. There he is. Got him pressed against those ropes. Now he's about to bully it. Now he's about to bully Jamal. And that's taxing Jamal. Laying some weight on it, too. Thomas Harris says, good fight. Says, I like the action. I like, too. Good uppercut. Step out in here by Jamal. Here go Booty F wrapping Jamal up around the neck. And the ref thought about saying something. You better shut your ass up, ref. Oh, good left hook. And there they go, wrapped up and tied up as he threw the hook. Here go Jamal finding the right hand. Booty F step on the inside. Trying to hit to the body. Booty F going to body again. Right hand up top. Body shot again by Booty F. Trying to shoot the jab to the body. Trying to go right hook over the top. And Jamal leaning down. Going to get hit in the back of the head. If he hit something in the back of the head, ref, don't say nothing. Jab to the body again by Booty F. Jamal trying to throw over, cut nothing on it. They're going to right hook, jab down to the body by Booty F. Or should I say left hook to the body? Booty F, boom, lunging in. Going around the glove to get to the side of the neck with his left hook. He's just punking Jamal. Jamal trying to fire off the straight shots. Fired off one, two shots. The other one's got lazy. Jab to the body. Boom, right hand to the side of the ear by Booty F. Booty F looking at him, firing up because Jamal just leaned over. Left hook thrown in by Booty F. Left hook again. Another left hook. Slapped him with the left hook was Booty F. Jamal with the left hook. By Booty F got him with a counter left hook to the jaw. And look, he go turning his back. He turning his back. That's why he hit him in the side of the face the last time. What the fuck? Thomas Harris says that body work says it's killing Jamal. It says, come on, Jamal. It says Jamal it says still boxing good. Boxing good. No, he not. This dude tearing Jamal ass. Body shot again. Body shot again. Jab. There he's ducking up out of there. Escaping up out of there. Fading. He's fading slowly. What is this? Round six. Oh, left hook, right hand in it by Betty F. Betty F jumping over on him. Betty F fucking playing basketball in here and shit. That's a Betty F round. Betty F round. Motherfucking Jerron dressed and already back out watching the main event. Maybe say, I'm going to fight this Betty F motherfucking next. Let me scout these guys. If I can't get one of these main guys, I got you next, Betty F. Betty F winning this fight. Logic says, tell me uh Boots doesn't uh says tell me Boots doesn't sleep both these dudes. He might, man. He might. I don't want to crown Boots yet, but I, I think I may level up my praise for Boots after seeing him do the Lormy ass that bad. Mira says, still watching this uh clip of whole sway trying to uh get up, says too quick. Laugh out loud says the ignorance of dude, man. That shit was funny. I'm watching that fight again. I love watching that piece of shit get humbled. Jay Wayne says, Jamal James says is trying to uh, says is turning his back, says to the man. Yeah, would you hear that man with his back turned? Jay says he's turning his back. Drew Hill in the bill, slew, bro. Patricia Sheldon says James' ear is bleeding. Is it? It ought to be as much as getting punched in that shit, turning sideways and shit. Jamal trying to fire the jab, missing. 
Elijah says, Jamal says, looking like he's wearing down. He's wearing down bad. And this guy's going to start bullying him. Just roughhouse him. Time for the roughhouse. Look how this guy leaning on Jamal. He's trying to fire this left hook. They're going left to the bite. Jamal with the uppercut. Jamal ain't – Jamal floating and guiding and hopping for his punch. He ain't sitting on us punches. His feet ain't even pushing in with his punches. And this guy jumping on Jamal. Look, jumped over Jamal with the right hand. Uppercut. This dude doing this shit. Bow. Look at him. Boom. Left, right to the body. Left hook to the jaw, right to the body. He got Jamal pressed to the ropes. Jamal trying to fire some right hooks. Jamal trying to go to the body. He fires off a counter. Jamal with the right counter to the head. He throws a left counter at Jamal. And he's still coming at Jamal. He don't feel none of Jamal punches. He's just tearing Jamal up. He ain't feeling shit from Jamal. Tapping him. Jamal still leaning over his lead foot. Jamal with the uppercut. Jamal with the uppercut again. Right hand to side body. He pivots up, step over to his right. Shaking his arms out. Jamal trying to come double and jab. And who the fuck Steve Farhood give Jamal James those rounds? They're going to left hook in it by Booty F. The fuck is Farhood talking about? When Farhood wear by focus, he don't see shit. Boom. Right hand to side body. Try to throw left hook. Drill Hill says, what? He says, uh, says Boots still ain't ready. No, no. he Oh, he hurt him. Did he rob him with that jab? Oh, I thought that jab rocked uh, 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 Jamal. No, I don't. I ain't saying that with, with Boots, but I don't want to give Boots the crown and say, oh, he better than Terrence Crawford or Earl. He got to fight him. Good uppercut in there by uh, Jamal. Fall by left hook to the body. Let's see. They go Booty at firing the right hand. Jab, jab. Jamal got to get some rounds in here. Jamal better get some rounds in here. Good jab. Right hand to the body by Jamal. Jamal in the senator's ring now. Did he get win? Left, both of them throwing left hooks to the body. He throwing it right to the side of Jamal's body. Now that body, that body shot took something out of Jamal. Another jab to the body by uh, Booty F. That, that jab, look, Jamal holding. That body shot, Jamal gave himself away that that body shot hurt him. Jab, piercing jab to the body. Left to the side of the body. Here go Jamal getting out of there with the double jab. Getting out of there with the double jab. And let's see, uh, Patricia said he's fighting dirty. He ain't fighting dirty, Patricia. Shit, this is boxing. They fighting. He fighting how he's supposed to. This ain't dirty. And then Thomas uh, Thomas Harris says, Jamal says needs to sit down his punches. Exactly. He up there bouncing and hopping and shit. And so B man says, Jamal ain't making it to 12. Hell no, I don't think he is neither. This guy just bullying Jamal. Oh, it's only seven. I'm thinking it's like, now look at that left to the body. Look at that left to the body, right here to the top of the head. That body shot right there got Jamal standing still. Look, left, left. They made his team may end up stopping this fight. Jamal James team may end up stopping this fight. Mira saying, Mira saying uh, Shango says getting that ass whooped like Django. Look, left hook to the jaw. He ain't lasting. He ain't lasting. This guy doing exactly what he's supposed to do to Jamal. And that's rough and beat his ass up. He's doing exactly what his fault. Look at his wife. <laughs> You got pretty white. Look at Marley. Marley ain't looking like too happy. So you ain't getting none of this pussy tonight. <laughs> Marley mad. Say, I'm going to sit in the casino. Like I said, Jamal James is only uh, losses to you guys. Patricia Sheldon said, I know. <laughs> when most school says salute to Story B, man. She, he says salute to Patricia Sheldon as well. Jay Wayne says, Jamal said, Beyonce looking like uh, like she about to leave him. Right. <laughs> Her pussy to dry it up for the night. There <laughs> you go. Fuck be wearing them uh, uh fucking depends pampers shit. Fuck the granny pants said this shit is off. This shit is closed. You need to heal up tonight. That's what she's gonna tell him. You need to heal. None of this. <laughs> she got the sister face on, man. The mad, mad sister face. Mm-mm. Them berry and juices done dried up. No, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Her shit sweet, but not no more. Oh, Jamal with the jab. Jamal should look at her face. Maybe it's fire. him. Logic says, Betty S is ripping that body. So Jamal says, ain't going to last. Says, those body shots are, are sapping his energy. They are. Look, left hook to the body. And this guy did early work to the body on Jamal. Within two rounds, all Jamal's movements slow down. With most school, Jane Wayne says, salute. That's your Charles in there rolling. Story B man says, salute to you, William Old School. They old Jamal trying to fire off two lefts to the body and not doing anything. This guy would uppercut left hook on Jamal with Jamal on those ropes. Jamal, look at Jamal's face. Right hand to the side of the body. Jamal's trying to hold his arms. Look at Jamal. Look like he wincing in pain, too. Born Supreme says this dude says, is, uh, is weight drain. He body drain, too. He body drain suffering. Thomas Harris says, I see why you aren't uh, monetized. <laughs> hey, for real. I don't even realize I'll be cussing that much time going watch. Look, he stepped around. Sean Porter style on Jamal. Jamal was just there. He took a body shot. 
Yeah, I do cuss a lot. I got to help, man. I thought BFTV cussed a lot, man. I'm up there down there cussing as much as BFTV. Jay Wayne says, uh, says salute, but BFTV cussing people out. I just be cussing, man. Tom Harris says, you uh, cuss more than my uncle in Chicago. <laughs> I pick cussing up from old people in the military, man. The military ought to pay me, man. That's why I learned all this cussing shit in them. How the fuck do Farhood got this good thing? Farhood ain't a judge. Talking about it's tied up. The fuck Farhood talking about? And then uh, 24 Yeezy says, Jamal says he's doing his best to survive. For real, he is. He getting wore out, though. And Farhood think it's a close fight. And Farhood's stupid ass. Swinging a miss with the left hook by uh, Ben. Oh, he lunges at fucking, uh, at fucking uh, uh, Jamal James. Jamal James gonna have, corner gonna have to stop this fight. Oh my God, wild swinging a miss by Jamal. Jamal come up under the armpit. Get Jamal out this fight, corner. Get Jamal out this fight. Speech Big Dog says uh, Jamal ready to call it. Says his trainer says might, might be ready to throw in the towel. They're gonna have to definitely throw in it. Now the guy leaning on him doing a smart thing. Lean on his ass. Wear him the fuck down. He look at Jamal James as he knows he's wearing him down. Lean on him. There he's throwing the left hook at Jamal. Let me turn his volume up, son. Go after him. Go after him, better be. Uh, what is it? Booty F. Oh, short left hook. Throwing at Jamal. Jamal just standing there. 30 seconds here in the round. Jamal trying to get um, for enough power to throw right hand through another right hand and miss both of them. He's just out lumping around on his feet. Here he is shooting his jabs out too far. There he's trying to bounce on his feet. He got nothing on him. There he's trying to twist and throw weight into a left hook. Nothing up on this guy lunging at Jamal with the left hook. Jamal trying to shoot the jab. There's a 10, 10 second bell. Jamal still around. He slaps Jamal in the mouth, but try to pull back on it. There he is lunging with the left hook. Jamal with the left to the body. Here he is catching Jamal with the hooks. And that's another round for Bet, Bet, uh, Bet, 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 Bet. I only gave Jamal one round. I only gave Jamal one round. That was the first round. There's been nothing after that. Now, I don't know where the fuck Farhood watching with his bifocus thinking he watching that shit. William Old School says salute. Uh, Jay Wayne says salute to William Old School. Thomas Harris says you, uh, oh, yeah, I've read all those. Yeah, I'll be cussing bad, man. The military, man, they owe me a goddamn pension check. <laughs> oh, shit. BJ Big Dog says Jamal ready to call it. Says trainer might have thrown it. Says ref says we'll call it soon. Thomas Harris says uh, Booty F says it's wearing down too. Says it's about to uh, be a battle of attrition. Patricia says Betty F says it's numbed up. Betty F is numbed up, says from something. No, nah, he ain't on nothing. Jamal ain't gave shit to hurt the guy. Jamal went in there and played twinkle toes with the motherfucker. He just kicking his ass. He, and he's strong. This guy's strong. But the guy made the right decision to go to Jamal James early in this fight. They go round nine. Early in this fight, he throwing punches to Jamal's body and shit. Tall fighter, breaking him down. So Betty there says like to throw, uh, likes to throw that lead left, says hook, says Jamal says he's fighting on fumes, for real. Thomas Harris says, I'm giving Jamal, uh, I, oh, I give, I've given Jamal uh, three, four rounds. Yeah, I only gave him one. I haven't seen too much from Jamal that I could give him rounds. Look, this guy just styling, dancing, shifting around on Jamal. Now he's walking Jamal back. He just know Jamal ain't got no legs, no energy, a sap. He just go to work. Jamal throwing the jab, trying to fight that right hand. That right hand was just sloppy. Here he's taking the jab. The jab is still there. Here he's jabbing back, hits Jamal on the shoulder with his jab. Here he's trying to jab down to Jamal's body. Jamal still lean over that lead foot. I don't like that Jamal does that, lean over that lead foot. Then Jamal bending down, he pushes Jamal down to the ground as he should. He doing exactly what he's supposed to. Let's see if the ref going to say something. And the refs didn't really say too much. Thought the ref was going to admonish him for it. PG Big Dog says James won three three rounds for sure. Man, I couldn't find them three. He didn't even went around where they took the point. Thomas Harris says, Trish Jones says, I agree. Says he must have trained in Mexico uh, with Canelo and Oscar Valdez. Y'all looking for reasons. Don't be mad because the white guy kicking Jamal James' ass. They go right, left to the body. Here he is heading to the hips. Look, he's doing right. He's supposed to. Look what he's doing. He just... Just, just hitting on Jamal. He just hitting on Jamal. Beat him on the side. Beat him on the body. Beat him on the side. Beat him on the body. He's doing what he's supposed to. Beating him, just beating him to the body. Jamal doing too much moving. How Jamal gonna hurt something? Look, left to the body. Right now, I know Jamal's just trying to get out, get out of there. And he's and, and Jamal's wearing himself down doing the, doing the movement. The movement is wearing Jamal down. The left in there. Left hook in there again, double left hook, jab in there by him. Jab, right hook to the side of the body. Look, left to the body, uppercut. 
right, left. Now he got Jamal. Now he got Jamal. Jamal's hurt now, and he's showing. There it is. 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 And it's over. And it's over. And it's over. There it is. There it is. There it is. It needed to be stopped. Look at this guy. It says push. Oh, it says push the tire. Oh, it says push the tired man down. It says he should as he should. Absolutely. Sure, Sheldon Thomas Harris. She got the uh, emoji, the face emoji. Thrill Hill says James says don't have enough power. Yep, he don't have enough power, and he never sat on anything. I wonder if he where's his power? He really ain't sit on anything. He's just throwing these loose, loose leg jabs and shit. No, no weight up under his jabs. It's just all, all slinky arm and shit. Thomas Harris says, uh, says that pressure says it's real. Absolutely. The author says he stopped Jamal. Then Wayne says over. And he got the better BF Afro uh, top that the Russians be wearing. Thomas Harris says, damn. Amar T says shirt, says uh, shirts from Target, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, you can't clown. I'm the king of jokes, man. Jashan says, what happened, Red? Says, I see the fight. Man, that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I ain't see the fight. Whole Sway got his ass knocked the fuck out. <laughs> That's what happened. And then Jamal, uh, uh, no, what's the name? Jerron Ennis, man, kicked motherfucking better. I mean, kicked goddamn uh, Delorme fucking ass. I was not expecting that shit. He beat the sh quick work, man. Jay Wayne says, I don't think the refs should have uh, stopped a championship fight like that. This ain't no championship fight. This is one of them old fucking uh, uh, give me your sanctioning fee belts. <laughs> this ain't no title. What title this dude got? Championship fight like that says, but uh, the corner says should have stopped it. No, the ref, the ref, the ref, as much as I don't like this ref, but he was just punishing fucking Jamal. All those body shots, those body shots can be debilitating. Like we just we just look at what the person's face look like, but this this ref got to keep in account how many body shots he didn't watch Jamal, and what Jamal was affected by the most was body shots, and we don't see damage from body shots, but he been getting hit with a lot of them internally. That shit, all your important outside of your brain, all that important shit is in your body and shit. The Marty says, I, uh, says I got the same one. Says laugh out loud. <laughs> Jay says Jamal says Dan there wanted to uh say thank you to the ref. For real, he did. For real, he did. For real, he did. The ref did the right thing. Logic says think Jamal says relieve uh says uh that relieved ref uh stop. He's relieved that the ref stopped the fight. Hell yeah, he is, man. That shit was hurting, man. Shit, even if his wife was gonna give him some, man, he wouldn't be able to do shit after that kind of body beating. Motherfucker, that's like Rodney King shit. PG Big Dog says, told y'all, says Jamal was uh, ready to lay it down. Yep, absolutely. Tom Zara says, bad stop is too soon. Too soon? Shit, it's the ninth round. <laughs> ninth round, he's kicking Jamal ass. Sylvester says, Jamal says, got Merck. Says, damn. Jay says, he is playing clip that Vargas knockout. Oh, I got on Instagram. Is it on Instagram? That shit was a beautiful fucking knockout, man. That motherfucker, Zapata has some beautiful knockouts, man. <laughs> Japeda got beautiful knockouts, and that's what fucking whole sway should have humbled himself. Be humble, Vargas. PJ Big Dog says, "Didn't James have a a fake WBA regular belt?" Says, "Get that shit back." Yeah, yeah, he got one of them fake. Uh, uh, give me a sanctioned body belts. Y'all getting the check? Who getting the check? That's what the motherfucking the the sanctioned bodies is like, man. They like one of the motherfuckers, you know when. People like on half bait where they talking about how they be having weed and it's always a motherfucker with no money come out the motherfucking woodworks when they as soon as you fired up a joint motherfucker with no money come come popping out of the woodworks and just take a long drag on your shit all your motherfucking weed gone <laughs> that motherfucker just walk off that's what sanctioned bodies is remember the character Snoop played on motherfucking half bait that's what sanctioned bodies are they said check fuck out a check man grab on the belts ah! Give me some of that shit. <laughs> shit, motherfucking roach, roach puffing motherfucking goddamn sanctioned bodies. Logic says Jamal says didn't have the power, says to turn the fight around. Good stoppage. Fact says taking uh too much punishment. That's a fact, bro. That's an absolute fact. And then Jashan says, damn, nigga get knocked out. Says like says 
damn niggas got get knocked out like tonight. <laughs> it's a bad night for motherfuckers making it to the bell, right? <laughs> bad night for the bell. Sylvester in the building says he got the gloves up. Thomas Harris says tired doesn't mean hurt. Shit, he was hurt, bro. But shit, fatigue bring pain. Shit, fatigue is pain. Story P man, some B man says I said he wasn't uh going to make it. Absolutely right, OG. Absolutely. Mira says why uh last week says you flipped on uh herring. Uh says and said uh come on Shakur, knock this bitch out. Man, I always flip on fighters when they don't give shit. I flipped on the Ali looking dude. But he up there playing with the guys. Man, when they ain't giving they all, I fucking be like, man, fuck it. Other guy, your turn, man. Impressed. I ain't, a, I ain't locked in on no, like, I ain't a fanboy, shit. <laughs> I'm not a fanboy of boxing, shit. Motherfucker ain't giving his all. I want the I flip and be like, come on, man. Other guy, bring some shit. Knock his ass down. Make him wake the fuck up. Shit. Like, hell no. Nah. Jashan says, uh, salute to my brother, Mir. Thomas Harris says, rematch? Re what rematch? Shit, none of these guys tonight deserve rematches. Hell no. Nah. Deshaun says, salute, bro. The Diages, PJ Big Dog says, uh, knockouts all night. Hell yeah. Thomas Harris says, Boots says, needs to jump in the ring. Man, Boots is above this guy. Boots don't need to lower his standards to, to right here. Mark Freeman says, I ain't even, uh, says, I ain't even hit it yet. Says, laugh out loud. <laughs> Mir says, uh, Deshaun Brown says, salute, family. Shabeshi says, uh, Rob had, uh, damn, how you say, I had his name earlier today. Rabzad says, is a tank. They bullied the fuck out of J uh, Jamal. Anthony Jones says, Boots fight was, uh, was so short, says he can fight next month. That's true. That's true as shit. PJ Big Dog says, uh, Boots says, we'll have, uh, smoke both these cats, says, in the same night. <laughs> man, Boots better take a rest, man. Deshaun's rolling. Thomas Harris says, uh, says Will says ready to flip on you quick. Says like Takashi. <laughs> no, nah, Takashi is snitch. I'm just a motherfucker, man. You ain't giving me all you in there bullshitting, man. Fuck that other guy, man. Make him step this shit up. Step on the gas on his ass. Logic says ESPN says had two compared uh says two competing cards says on the same night. This shit was this shit for once, man, was some good shit. I'm happy with what I seen from Zapata, man. What a fucking fight. Let me go watch, go to Instagram and watch some of these highlights. But, folks, that's all we got, man. This is a good night of boxing, man. Peace, peace.